Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome back to more Rogue Trader. God, I need to wrap up games quicker because the week just isn't long enough to play multiple games. Follow my lead. That's the problem. There's just not enough time in the week. Gotta get stuff done faster, faster, faster. It's important. Let's just bring that window over there so I know where it is. That will allow me to tell whether or not anything is breaking at the moment, which it doesn't seem to be doing. Oh, hey! Is this what we call an ambush? Human scum. Yes, Brace yes, yourself. this is. This is exactly what one would call an ambush. Well, god damn it. Komarog has been one very long series of ambushes, hasn't it? It really does kind of feel that way. Like I've just kind of been getting ambushed a lot on Komarog. Almost as if it's some kind of, you know, untrustworthy area or something. I don't, I don't really quite understand myself, but, well, there it is. Oh, God. An owl cat, hello? Kind of, like, oh god, I I quite like owl cats games, I really do. I enjoyed Pathfinder, I enjoyed Kingmaker, but owl cat is a very sadistic GM, okay? Um, slightly less so in um, Wrath of the Righteous. Then in Kingmaker, in uh, in my humble opinion, uh, but not by much. Like Al Alcat have always been pretty goddamn mean, honestly. By and large, they very rarely have been nice people in my uh, my recollection and opinion. Arch, my dear, uh, I do believe that this is a brilliant opportunity to use All my splashy weapon. Power before my might, filth. Yep. That seems like a pretty brilliant opportunity to use the splashy Already weapon, done. indeed. They've always been fairly cruel. And the good old-fashioned ambushed out of conversation. Oh, God. That, that was something that happened a lot, shall we say, in, uh, in some of their titles. Right, I do have a new weapon for you, but it's more like an AoE weapon, so let's just load up the sniper rifle and no take more. care of that captive right there. Swift and silent. In fact, I don't have the ability to... I don't. Okay, well, never mind. I should this probably have marked him as prey me. first, shouldn't I? Yeah, that would have been smart, I but... am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Oh, well. I understand your intent. And, like, oh, God. Um... If I... Path of the Righteous... The main thing with that game is that you I kind of pet, you you, you, you kind of had to well. go into it understanding it what the campaign was going to be. This. It was going to be you against demons, uh, which meant that if you decided to oh I don't know for example pick a Can mage, agony. you would come to regret picking a mage. You would really come to regret you picking a mage. Because, oh, you know, every single goddamn solitary enemy in that game has magic resistance. Ah. <sighs> 14 dodge. 6 cover string. Meh. Meh. Watch. But with that, beneath. you might actually be able to kill him. Yep, there you go. Nice. Nice. Be done. Strength bones for any damage to a mouse and starts bleeding while mouse starts bleeding against your Oh, okay, sure, bleed. I am a vessel for pain. I am its master. Why not? Why why not? Um, endure. <laughs> right. Well, so he likes bleeding. Uh good, I guess. Now you could get around it, you know, when you when you got high enough level, it wasn't anywhere near that bad. Uh, if you took, I think it was sorcerer, 
Sorcerer had a lot of uh, tricks to get around, like magic resistance and increased penetration and stuff. So you, you, you could do it. You could still play a mage, even in, like, uh, uh, Wrath of the Righteous. It was just, you were, you were probably going to have to realize that you were going to be in a lot of pain for a while there. Uh, really, Doubt simple as. for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. Right. Uh, Ulfar. I don't- I don't think this is gonna hit you, so don't worry about it. Nice, nice, nice. And, of course, you've also got the mythical stuff as well in Wrath of the Righteous. Now, the mythical stuff is, like, super duper special bonus level kind of stuff that makes you, like, a superhero. And some Faith of them are insane. And some of them are really fun, too. Some of them are really, 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 really fun. Hum. Hum. Less damage than I was expecting, if I'm to be honest. None can do this better than a warrior. Ah, in the well, surely father. you can't be too tough, right, little cavalite warrior? Woe to you. Um, and then I can also do a poop -poo. See how the wolf succeeds. I'll show you the real pain. I just kick him in the face. There you go. Kicking him in the face hurts him more than stabbing him with a knife. Very, very normal. Very, very normal. Right. Um, Khaled Ranger will probably be picked off next turn, so I'm not gonna really gonna bother with him. I'm getting guessing that grotesque is gonna smack you into next fucking week. So let's buff you a little bit. Opposing me was Whoa, your biggest nice. mistake. In fact, Ulfar, would me. you perhaps mind just, uh, you know, executing Cold that guy? Thank you. Much appreciated, even if uh, your voice is weird, as always. Uh, so, Be careful not to cross my you could do some pretty damn neat uh, Nito Cheeto stuff with that. And in, but in Kingmaker, oh boy. See, my issue with Kingmaker is unlike Wrath of the Righteous, where the game kind of tells you what to expect, right? You're supposed to be fighting demons, so maybe you should bring something that kills demons. In Kingmaker, the game doesn't really inform you that you're going to be fighting a lot of swarms and shit, and you are going to be fighting a lot of swarms and shit. So I hope you brought some AOE or something to deal with them. Otherwise, you are going to be tremendously sad. Or, you know, if you simply just bring an absolute ridiculous quantity approaches. of attacks. Um, pet classes. Pet classes work pretty well in Kingmaker. Uh, you just needed to absolutely retard level overwhelm the enemy attacks. It was also their first venture into the idea of, like, the, the campaign system and the kingdom management, which is a complete and utter fetish of, of Halcat. A I'll fetish I understand, mind you. I have this fetish myself. I always try to force in some sort of kingdom management or strategic layer or something in basically every RP I run, because I, I think it adds a great deal of... Um, no, I was hoping you'd hit him, but oh well. It adds in a lot of... How do I put it? Like... You die in disgrace! Give this task to someone lesser! Gravitas to the world, I guess, kinda? You know, it, it, ma it makes it something extra. It, it makes it so that you're not just worried Watch about ahead. what you're doing, but Nothing what the world is do. doing, and how you're affecting the world as you're doing it. You know, if that makes any sense? Isn't this a job no, for sorry. Uh, uh, this can't be! But the system in Kingmaker, oh boy. Um, I, again, I hope you, wrote, or you, you read a guide, because uh, Jesus Christ, some of the shit that happens in that game is beyond punishing. Oh my god. A nocturne of oblivion. The key unlocks a door that will that then will lead to one that only happenstance will free. Your chance I'll be to me the bolts will seed. Your part comes next to break the bonds and flee. To you, merchant of vagabond, I bring the gift of providence. But will you look?
Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I was wondering if something was happening or if I was supposed to be looking for something. Uh, Robert Wadsworth. Not going to write the long dramatic bit I had planned if chat beat me on saving the Space Wolf. I'll just say good uh, job and wish I didn't need to leave that fight. Also sacrifice to the Chaos Gods. Definitely, sir. In fact, I'm gonna commission an artwork for the, uh, <laughs> the fight for the Space Wolf. It was uh, Fenrir who swept in at the end and managed to save the Space Wolf's uh, life, which has, weirdly enough, led me to gather every single companion. I don't know why. I'd expected chat to kill companions, but no, I've, I've got Dark Eldar, although I am giving him over to the Chaos Gods. I have Idira, which I definitely expected to die. I have Ulfric, which I really expected to die, because Robert Wadsworth added it. A lot of cash to kill his ass off. And yet here they all are. And I'm deeply confused. I mean, I need an artwork of uh, Robert and Fenrir just pulling the space wolf. Little dumbass toy wolf back and forth. Service guaranteed bearing it in half check. as they do so. Sudden pain grips your skull and your vision clouds over, but as soon as you resurface, a dramatic scene appears before you. The streets of the Dark City are teeming with hundreds of colours, from grimy grey shades to extravagantly bald hues. At first they blend together in your vision, but soon you are able to distinguish their sources. People, Xenos, animals, you, and of course, the Harlequin standing in front of you. Xenos colours are like those of a broken kaleidoscope. Your eyes water at the mere attempt to pick any one thing out, and your head is splitting more than ever. Yet despite this, you are subconsciously aware that the dark lilac cloud surrounding the slender figure poses an unspeakable danger, and that the bright sparkles of silver indicate that his danger, at least for now, is directed to you. When you avert your gaze and slowly exhale, the vision falls away as if it was never there. Oh, one thing I really uh, miss from... Uh, Path Pathfinder was um, the, the mythic path, path when you could become like a necromancer and you could build a necromancer fortress and you could resurrect dead companions as necromancers and you could even like you could resurrect the queen and stuff. Oh, that was really, really cool. God, that was that was awesome. That was absolute amazeballs, I tell you. And the companions in Pathfinder, uh, Wrath of the Righteous. Um, oh god, Arashwele, of course. Fantastic companion. I cannot re recommend uh, Wrath of the Righteous enough. Arashwele's romance, great stuff. Um, was it Carmilla? Carmilla, was it Carmilla? The, um, the, the half-elf. That is a really good questline, too. Amazeballs questline. Like, every character in that game was actually really, really good. The, uh, the Black Knight uh, gnome person, he was great. Damn, I, I kind of want to play that game again now, but boy, it is long. It is, it is too, too long, too long. Nocturne of Oblivion, the Harlequin observes you with interest, his silence speaking volumes. His supreme glorious greatness, an arch of terror, your colors. What what have you done to him, Xenos? Ooh, molested me, have you? So many things can three eyes glimpse at once. Shah ails, veiled path and caverns of the soul, but with a thousand sighs you could not see the wrecks of fate beneath reality. Past creaking vaults will twirl you round in halls of intertwining serendipity. But not just yet, the dance calls for a pair. Your partner is, for now, tied up with me. I do not understand. Oh, Nectar Sweet, your name... Even he knows he's cinnamon bun! Even he knows! Your name is Ignorance. Make sure to savor every drop before your glass is drained by insight in a blink. The trapper caught in a snares of his own make. The plotting of your play was up to snuff, but Nazarekai rewrote the announcement. Decided in the darkness of the wings, amidst the somber spires and hunter's games, Tis wise to stop and once more check your knives, for that which glittered in your hands before, you may now find a twinkling in your spine. That's better than back, by the way. Spine's better than back here. 
All who have taken part in my downfall will be exterminated. Muff, 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 muff. And sooner than you thought, my merchant thief, just like a drop of ink you fell upon the page before this play's dramatic end, wherein your own kin's blood you will see shed, perform the lines required, and vengeance will descend, be met, upon the stage and play its part, and then away from the spires and merchant's trail. Across the world's a parlous road you'll tread, and death you will find there, or else a path to remedy your second enemy. Hmm. I hear you, Arabenian. Service guarantees citizenship. Uh, okay, yeah, keep going. Both opening and draw and warning is my boon. Your fate hangs by a thread. Dawn breaking tight, but with a show of patience opportune, the merchant certain death will turn to flight. I'm starting to see why the Eldar kind of hate the Harlequins. You stride not into battle, but a snare of guile and strife, a neatly woven net. Lust's mistress lifts her sword into the air, and baying for your blood, her pack does set. So dance a ring around oblivion, await a sign from night's own melody, catch a sight of it, and then make haste be gone. One yawning mouth, one leap to set you free. So KQ, I was planning to go, I must do a survive the arena, which was time to run. Literal mouth. Portal of some kind. Oh, thank you for the explanation. <laughs> because I didn't get that at all. I got the previous one. But that one confused me quite a bit. I won't tolerate weakness. Thank you for spelling it out for me, video game. And I'm also glad that this game is not as obtuse as. Pathfinder at some point. Oh my god. You should see, like, the uh, you challenge for me. the guide for recruiting the queen as a companion. Oh. Jesus. You have to, like, tread just perfectly through so many hoops it's ridiculous to get her. She is the definition of a secret character. Coronel says, Rip Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball. I did see that happening the other day, yes. Or literally yesterday. Victory awaits! Boog assures me that this will cause a conflagration in uh, South America. I hope so, I hope so indeed. I wish to see invasions. I'll lay claim to the I stars. wish to see violence. I wish to see South America descend into anarchy. Right, where was I going? Where was I going? That's a great question. To the pit, maybe? I think to the pit. Maybe I can even rest there to get rid of some of these, you know, naughtinesses that I've gathered up. It's about time! I do enjoy how the Imperial Guard and the Resistance fighters are still training. Yeah, we've killed their Commissar, we've killed a lot of them too, but they... They, they still feel like they have a chance here. Very brave of them. Retarded, but brave. I wonder how many of them we will bring along. Uh, none would probably be my guess, if I'm to be honest. Right, is there a bed here, perchance? You know, somewhere I can be like, just, I lie down here for a bit. No, we put him in a... <laughs> We put him in a cage, did we? I feel like we should just shoot him, but, uh... Alright, some stuff. Some more stuff. Survey the den. The Resistance fighters are looking at you with a mixture of fear and deep respect. They do not have the guts to break the silence and speak to you. Hmm. Execute Malice and the Commissar. Oh, I like it. You wish to repent, traitor? Hmm. 
No, I, I don't... See, honestly, I'd, I'd rather spare Malice. Malice didn't fuck with me much. You know, Malice treated my wounds and was like, Hey, go kill the Commissar. Malice was a bro, by and large, but he is a filthy, dirty Xeno, so I'm thinking shooting both of them in the head is the correct course of action. Pew pew. Ah, beating them to death. That's a fine alternative as well. Slower, more personal, you know. It adds a certain panache to an execution to do it via sticks. Well, they're still carrying some stuff, were they? Huh, okay, well, thank you. Still looking for that bed. There's, uh... There's no bed here, is there? Uh, I don't think so. I guess the game wants to carry wants me to carry my injuries. Uh, anything else I need to do here? Like, I don't know, organize the resistance fighters to help me escape or something? Um, Commissar is no longer in charge. Any objections? No. No, your lordship. Intelligent. Intelligent travel. Huh. Identity. Uh, that's a traitor in a common scene. It's a promise of escape with nothing but lies. A shock murmur runs through the crowd. Then there's no hope. We are doomed to remain captives of Xenos. But a clean death is a better fate by far. May we beg your lordship to grant us the Emperor's peace? Hmm. Nah, I'm not surrendering that easy. Ah, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror, will say of your pathetic, worthless hides. God falls to his knees before you. Very intelligent peasantry. Wow. Damn. Okay, it's rare to see peasants who understand their place so well. Perhaps I've been going too lenient on the regular beatings aboard my command ship. Clearly, my peasants are still far too spoiled for their own good. Uh, there's everything found as well. Then, all right, some more toys. Tragically, I do not believe there's a sleepy spot here, so. Oh, to the arena I go, I guess. Gabriel not here. Did you get your boots back? Yes. The the weird homunculi handed me my master crafted plasma weapon. Which seems silly. Like it seems weird. Like, hey monkey, have this. You can obliterate my skull in a single shot. <laughs> Don't point it in my direction though, that'd be silly. Question. Fire is the answer. Soft hum of a plasma coil charging. <laughs> Um, how did you get to the arena again? I think it's over... Wait, was it here? No, it might have been in the... Was it the mangled sector? It wasn't in the mangled sector, was it? Because I think I need to go through the arena now. Follow my lead. Or am I just confused? I might just be confused. Robert Wadsworth, Pathfinder, will wrath of the Righteous was the game that made me unironically despise Iomade, which made for some funny scenes in my brother's campaign he was running because we had a paladin of Iomade in the group. See, what I really loved about Wrath of the Righteous is... Now this isn't the way to do it. Rina, can help me? I'll lay claim to the stars. Was that you could do whatever you wanted if you wanted to be a demon you could be a demon if you wanted to be a literal angel you could be an angel you want to be a necromancer you can be a necromancer want to dedicate yourself to the fae you can do that as well like the amount of choices were genuinely astounding and most of them didn't end up mattering that much they changed a handful of selections here and there so you know they could have played with that even more but it did more than most RPGs, you know? Uh, very, answer. very good game. <laughs> so, I am confused. What am I supposed to do? I thought I was going to the... Finish of Witch's Chaos. Yeah, I am going to the Paris arena. The question. 
Fire is the answer. Well, what the <laughs> fuck is the arena den? A new challenge for Video me. game. I'm confused. Help I'm still me. new to the art of exploring. Oh. Uh, sure, Cassie, if you want to check out the ghost pile, it's... I better myself through my service. Reaver's tendons. I am picking up it's a lot of random time. body parts all over the place for some reason. My personal favorite, though, definitely Necromancer playthrough. Oh, Necromancer playthrough is fucking hilarious. I oh, there it is! Giant portal swirly thing! Yay! I won't tolerate Quick weakness. Save. Necromancer playthrough is the best playthrough. Because you can... Um, there's that dumb little dwarf who betrays you for the succubus, because the succubus is like, you know my pussy's really tight, right? And he goes, Yes, mistress, I guess I will come with you again. And you can kill him, and then you can resurrect him, and be like, <laughs> Remember that time you were a retard? Yes. <laughs> I remember that too. I'm going to keep reminding you of that for eternity now. <laughs> I fucking love that so much. <laughs> He's, he's one of the best companions. You can even resurrect like an ancient huntress of a foreign god. And she's like, no, what did you do? You've desecrated my corpse. And you're just like, yeah, I know. That's pretty much what I do. <laughs> I fucking love the Necromancer playthrough. Oh, I love it. Or the, um, the Jester. Like when you play as basically the laughing god too. That one is great. That, that one is great. The, the trickster. Oh, the trickster is fantastic. Because you can just break the rules of reality with that. It's, it's genius. Um, the master wishes for you to send Kikuros on a swift journey to She Who Thirsts. Do not expect a fair fight. This is your execution. However, Kikuros is incapable of adequately assessing whatever she fails to comprehend. And therefore, you stand a chance. Albeit a negligible one. Should you survive, do not return here. The witches will seek revenge, which is why the master has already left the chasm and found a new patron. He suggests you do the same. So says the master. So have been, we have been thrown to the witches. Even if we survive this fight, we will not survive the retribution of the Dark City. I hope the Arabinian knows exactly how this play is going to end. I can't resist the pleasure of killing you. Yes. Once he jerks, bracing itself for your attack, but then something bursts inside his body and his limbs go slack. Eh. Oh. <laughs> the master sent me to tell you that he equipped his servants with emergency measures so that no harm might come to you. Even as it dies, the monster is unable to parrot the words. Stop parroting the words of its treacherous master. Funny. Honestly, the sheer amount of choice was how, why I never managed to finish a complete campaign of Wrath of the Righteous. Because every time, I'd be like, ah, oh, but I want, I want to try that thing. I want to be a demon melee monster. And then I start playing that for a bit. Like, oh, but I want to play the Lich, though. And then I play the Lich for a bit. Like, oh, but I miss my magic. And then I play the, the Sorcery Eon a little bit. It's like back and forth, back and forth. Until eventually I'd be like, yeah, this combat is really goddamn gay. And I hate it a lot. And then I stop. Gavin not here. No, your boots were not there. Check quest log. Quest log? My boots? Did I have a, a boot quest? And uh, Burn Castle donates five dollars. Thank you very much, sir. Blah 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 And now we arrive at the scene where Commodus enters into the arena against Maximus and I gets his ass beat. Alright, so Space Woof, Space Woof, Space Woof, Woof Woof, Space Woof. He woofs, he woofs, he borks, he borks, he space woof, woof woof, woof. 
<sighs> I will say his stats are goddamn amazing, but I kind of hate him. He's too large, and I hate his voice. He, it's too gro growly. It's like the person who made him was like Space Wolf needs to have like growly voice. And then they couldn't find a voice actor to give him the growly voice. And so they went like, ah, oh, goddammit. Right. Me. Just you insist, Lord Captain. Like, go into Audacity or whatever and just make him sound retarded, please. And that is exactly what they did. They went into Audacity and made him sound retarded. Let's try the new gun. Ah. 21 damage. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And hey, it did knock off their, uh, their dumbass invulnerability shield thingy bobs. That's nice. You cannot hit me, Chimera. I have, like, unironically, 1890 weapon skill. Wow, none of you are very good at your jobs, huh? That's, that's a little disappointing, honestly. If I right. must. If it Start serves your racking up the countless modifiers and this marking the Chimera as a prey, of course. One little Chimera, I two little Chimera. Pet, Here in the darkest reaches I of Comorog, we're intent. still working on an ability to actually make large globulates of violent, angry splooge. Fortune favors the swift. We are doing this because we discovered that humans I are quite afraid of large, violent monkey. globulates of splooge. We do not understand this fear, this but we are more than happy to, uh, to, muse, uh, to use it for our own measures. Yes. Doubt is for the weak. Right, and I can hit both I'll do it. That was less damage than I was kind of hoping and expecting, but... Mm. Right, and then switch over to that to build Faith up the versatility stacks. Is worthless. Pew. As the Emperor commands, I act. These things have a lot of hit points. Suits my purposes. Uh, well, so long as they're fighting Nothing Wolfgar... It kind of, sort of, doesn't really necessarily matter. Oh. Suits my purposes. And Argenta, yet again. I'll do it. Bum, 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 bum. Right, Cassia. Um, ignore the sentient cum globulets of military tactics. and go put that beast master in his place. I am a navigator, not Uno. a servitor. Yes. Dare you? I can't do any more. I thought I could do tress. Are you sure I can't do tress? I feel like I've been able to do tress before. Art thou absolutely certain of this restriction? Yeah. Become the All Father's worthy instrument. Hmm. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. There, have some bad dreams. Uh, you've got some kind of blasty pistol, don't you? Yes, you do. With grace and malice. 14 damage. Uh, 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 damage is damage, I guess. Right. Pupo. Hmm. Actually, that was really dumb because they're. My instincts tell me to refuse. Yeah, because that's not going to do anything, and therefore it's not going to activate the thing. Death. Right. Yeah. Now well, that was dumb, but. Right, you keep usefully attack use uselessly attacking him. Yep. Uh huh. I deal Let's death see. with my yep. hands. It's got a two percent chance to hit me. A two 
fucking percent chance to hit me. Yeah, um, hmm. For, for all of my slight dislike of Wolfgar, I will say this. His weapon skill and stats are pretty goddamn impressive. Can't really doubt that. I am not your Xenos pet. Wolfgar is Fortune certainly a space marine. The Swift. Damn, that was some serious damage. That's not bad. That was some really serious damage. <sighs> if I must. Uwugar. Nice Doubt is for the weak. Reload before I do that. This is why I was chosen. Uh, damn. Both of them. I need something rapid fiery. All too easy. In my arsenal here. Uh, well, Already might as well done. knock off the immunity, I guess, or maybe not. Step aside. Come back here, Cassia. Let's get coming. you into something that resembles if a little bit of cover. Me? If you insist, Lord, try to die with I grace. I wonder At how least. their weird warping sentient cum shield protects them from that psychic powers. And I, I, I don't know if I. Not a servitor. I don't know if I understand how that works. Can do this, but... I'm not sure I get it. Mm. Let's Get not shoot Uwugar. I feel like he might take it the wrong way. Oh no, it's trying to hit me. How <laughs> very terrible. So my hand Shut up. Is thunder. My strike is ruin. I love the idea of this thing just just, just flailing at him. Just I madly like, please, why can't I hit monkey. you? Meanwhile, he's just holding it down, pinned against the ground, the making it slap I itself act. with its own little flailing arms. Like, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. That's pretty much what I imagine is happening here. Uh, well, I'll take the Not opportunity to reload me. everything. Subject Nobles for a member for one month. Thank you, sir. Arts, don't let Dev V or Rags make the battle plans ever again in D&D. I was cringing so hard yesterday, it gave me a massive <laughs> headache. Well, it happens. I have, I have determined, in this D&D this campaign, Arch shall not be party lead. Arch is always party lead. In this campaign, somebody else will have the, the joy of if leading insist, the party Captain, into the future. Why aren't you dead yet? I, I don't want to... I know there's going to be more shit attacking me, so I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to use anything else. I want to keep all my weapons fully reloaded. Thank you. It's a snack. Is it just one snack? Because I feel like I that one snack is gonna. Furious retribution. Slith, a military artiste. Oh, he is not. He is an artiste. Well, maybe I shouldn't uh, underestimate him then. Hey, hello. I am an artiste. Seriously though, don't laugh at me. Stop it. Uh, okay. Right, well, um, he's fast. I'll give him that. Um... Oh, you're too far away. Get on. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Suits my purposes. All right, here, here, Uwugar. Let me tell you how Nothing to aim. I can't do. I feel like Uwugar, with his like eighty ballistic skill, is frowning ever so slightly at that, but.
Right, well, that was a rather disappointing demonstration by the military artists, but, uh... I approach the designated position. Very well, very well. If it serves your cause. Buff, buff. I understand your intent. Mark. Shoot. If I must. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Ooh, you get multiple actions, do you? Okay. Uh, that makes you a bit nastier, I admit. Or are you yet another? Oh god, you are. You're yet another one of those bosses. The bosses the that act the whenever you hurt them. Oh, groaning noises. Loud, insistent groaning noises. I'll do it. Right. As the Emperor commands, I act. Or do you just act every turn? I think when it just acts every turn. Oceans bleed. Uh, luckily, it's not very good at aiming, I guess, so that's nice. Um, it does mean that it's kind of difficult for me Slow to move. And painful is the way. Yep, it acts every turn. Okay. Right, 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 right. I miss the move, move, move ability. I think I need to pick that one back up again. It was very useful for occasions like this. Mm. No, I should not do that. I was about to use the everyone shoot him please order, but then I remember that's going to make Cassie blow up half of my team, so let's not do that. I'll live another day. All right, Cassie, darling, I Emperor, trust in your ability to tank literally anything and everything, and also Isn't you might be able to stun his ass. Let's see. Did that stun him? I don't know. Staggered. I don't remember if staggered was the thing, but if I may, give him another one. You don't frighten me. And then I reduce am his a navigator, stats. Not a servitor. Right. Nope. He is not stunned, or he just ignores stuns. No. That's also very, He's very potentially possible. Choking me. Right, let's get the little shit into melee then. Well, I mean, I prefer this, like, so that he moves, like, every, um... None can do my he moves, like, every turn thunder. instead of that really my retarded thing ruined. where they move whenever you hit them, because that's way more annoying. And this, this makes sense, because he's a super skilled, like, sleuth, sleuth kind of dude, and he's just really, really fast. I'm fine with that. That's okay. I missed him on a 95% chance. I'm less fine with that, but, you know, he'll take it. He'll take I it whether you want to or this not. Battlefield in righteous fury. Controlled shot. Doubt is for fire. the weak. Nice. Parry. Are you trying to hit me, silly creature? Don't you understand that you're fighting a space wolf? Space wolf cares not for your silly flailing. Space wolf cares not at all for your silly flailing, in fact. Oh, too easy. Yep. I don't hit much with the plasma gun, but uh, when I do, believe me, it's kind of worth it. Me? Another soul painted black. Right. What next? 
Not Alpharius for five dollars. Not party leader, but Arch. If your character is Joan of Arch, then you need to pull a V and gain a large cult of righteous followers of your faith. Hmm, maybe, maybe. Leading a peasant crusade does sound pretty fun. Licks on Doppelganger. I am looking forward to playing this game once they fix the game-breaking bugs after Chapter 3. I hope they have fixed those soon, because I've kind of been putting off uh, playing it too much in the hope that they'll fix a lot of that stuff. I, uh, I, r I really don't want the game to break. That would be kind of annoying. Oh, God, I... I should have... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, big hulky boy. <laughs> roar, roar, roar. Rip, rip. <laughs> okay, that was mildly funny. Actually, hold on. Can I, um... Alright, does actually let me save here. Okay, let me just... Saving. I want to see, because Chad brought up a very interesting point. I want to see if there's any unique dialogue uh, in the pit. Because I thought about that, like, surely I should talk to them, and then I just didn't for some reason. So I want to check. Victory awaits! I want to see if there's anything special they're saying. Because that'd be kind of cool. So that looks on Doppelganger. Apparently you can use Toybox mod to fix them, but it's a pain. Toybox mod is kind of like... You You, you kind of gotta install that for... Huh? No. You gotta install Toybox for all Pathfinder or uh, Alcat games. You, you really do. Because one of the things it does in Wrath of the Righteous in particular in my way. is it gives you the ability to do... Uh, that's the Mangled Sector. That's not where I want to go, is it? No, it's the pit I want to go to. Jesus. It gives you the ability to do free respecs. Um, and full respecs. <laughs> because Alcat always does this thing where you don't get to respec the character from level zero. You've got to start at the level you get them at, which is incredibly <laughs> annoying. Especially as they often just take some weird-ass traits. It's like, why would you do this? And... It is way more fun if you can experiment with all of your character and actually, you know, have fun with the character creation system. Rather than like, I'm a, a ranger. Yeah, but I want you to be like a mage or something, bruh. I think it fits way better to your character. Like, no. no. It's like, but it's my video game. Why don't you let me? Because gay. Oh. Rogue trader. Being reunited with the Emperor's Chosen is a balm to my soul. I have made no attempt to do so. What need do I have to know of the depravity of the enemies of humanity, when all I want is to burn it all in pure, raging flame? I already know all I need to. This place is evil, but there are servants of the Emperor here worthy of salvation. Good response from Argenta there. It's like, have you learned anything? Nope. <laughs> and I refuse to do so either. I just want to burn it down. We do. And I swear to fight for that end, and not to lose hope, even, even when deceit, corruption, and treachery surround us on all sides. May Terra's light be with you, Rogue Trader. Oh, yes. Um, remote companion dialogue as well is an enormous thing that you turn on. Because you can only see the dialogue of the people in your immediate party, so... Unless you want to play through the games, like 300 hour storyline, five times, turn on the remote goddamn dialogue and get everything at once. I heartily recommend it. You came back from the dark, Ellen Tark? Unharmed. And yes, there is a bunch of... bunch of, uh, dialogue here, so okay, I guess we're doing the arena fights over again. How are you? How, how are you feeling, Irlet? I know you've been tortured and shit, but how are you? Are you, you good? You happy? My body has already healed. The wounds of the soul will heal one day, too. For suffering is a part of our life, not unlike love and fear and the desire to learn. 
The paths help the children of Asurion to endure any spiritual upheaval. And you, Ellen Tark, did not allow me to stray from mine. For this, I am grateful. Oh, you just wait until you hear the price. And yet, neither rest nor healing solves, or even our reconciliation, can soothe the savage turmoil in my soul, Elantark. Kruderok is lost, and the bud of truth never opened before me. What happened to my kinsmen? What happened to my world? And why did the Dark Cousin tell me less than he knew? Why would a Dark Eldar lie to you? Uh, that's, a, that's a complicated question, Nidalette. But it might be because they're fucking evil. Who knows? I was meant to share your fate, Ellen Tuck, and vanish in the Dark City's rotting underbelly. But the Fleshmaster gave a different order. His twisted mind was beset by a question. Could a child of Asurion be saved from the gaze of she who thirsts with intense re-education? By replacing the influence of my spirit stone with the heady tang of pain that nourishes the followers of the dark ways? I donned the executioner's mantle. They allowed me to keep my spirit stone in exchange for the suffering of others. I survived, prayed for Asurion's mercy, and hoped to escape before the stone cracked under the torrent of pain and terror assaulting my soul, before the experiment was complete. I want to know why you did it. Everything from beginning to end. Oh, God. Okay. You've already told me your life story once, but sure. Let's begin at the beginning again. One day, 5,000 years ago, Yerilith was born to a small peasant family on the old south borders of Krodoch. You are asking why? How could I have trusted a monkey, Ellen Tuck? After Muaran told me that it was your kind that had attacked Kruderok, after I glimpsed a piece of Kruderok in your chambers, I saw that monkey hearts were full of hatred for me and my kin. And I saw how indifferent you were to the troubles of my kind. What else was I to do? Of the two sorrows, I chose the one that was closer to my blood. Now listen, you were uh, like indifferent to my kind, okay? And so I elected to choose uh, the torture crazy uh, bastards instead. You know, the people who then turned me into a walking experiment and made me torture people and broke my bones and shit. I figured they were more trustworthy. <sighs> Idolet, I'm sorry to say this, but you're fucking retarded. Like, legitimately, psychologically, medically retarded. Which is why I try to find my dark cousin on the day he attacked Dargonus. I used the commotion to slip away unnoticed and wandered the streets like a shadow in search of its owner. My efforts were futile. I returned to the palace in confusion. I waited for my fresh wounds to stop aching and for the watchfulness of the surrounding monkey to fade like the mist on an autumn morning. But still, I had my doubts. Perhaps, I thought, I should discuss it openly with you. Oh no, why would you do that? That'd be a terrible idea. I mean, we would have avoided all this pain, and torture, and misery and shit. That'd be awful. I... I am a member of, an, of a different race, you know. You gotta be careful trusting different races. <laughs> a valuable lesson in 40k, I suppose. <laughs> but seriously, when the correct race is the Dark Eldar, Maybe, maybe venturing outside of your usual racial prejudices might actually not be the worst idea ever. Just saying. That monkey Achilles. There was something wrong about him. He kept disappearing at night. So one day I followed him. Achilles was contacting Marajai, using an artifact that transmitted his master's orders. 
That is how I learned that the burnt monkey was about to betray you. Which meant my only chance to discover the fate of my homeworld was about to slip through my fingers. I could not wait any longer. I killed Archilius, took the artifact, and demanded answers from Marajai. He hinted at where I could go to look for the truth. You know what happened next. You killed... Wait, wasn't that the Inquisitor, dude? <sighs> Illit, could you... Maybe, perchance... Consider consulting me. Before you assassin assassinate agents of the Inquisition, just... Maybe? No? Uh, my words will hardly console you, Ellen Tuck, but I killed the traitor. I fear the Dark Ones left too many scars on his fragile soul. Your loyal monkey broke, so I gifted him a swift death, free from the shame of betrayal. Right. I get your argu argument here, Lillette, but again, you really should have just come to me and go like, Hey, the black guy, he's evil. <laughs> and I'd probably just be like, okay, what are we going to do about it? I don't know, I'll go kill him. Um, let's, let's torture the truth out of him first and then give him to the Inquisition. That way I'll get a gold star in my book and we won't have to go to Comorog. <sighs> to know what he was about to do, we went to the zone, he didn't even learn anything. I don't know if I can trust you again. And <laughs> enough about that. <sighs> I mean, berating her isn't going to fucking help much at this point. So. Alright, fine. Enough about that, I guess. What do you know about this place? Kamora. This city grind... Yeah, Lord, I can't be careful. No, talk. stop it. I promised that I would no longer hide my worries behind an icy wall of pride and doubt. And so I want to explain myself. But are you willing to hear me out? I thought that was what we spent the last ten minutes doing. Okay. Go on then. Not here. The words of my truth are intended only for your ears, Ellen Tuck. Then why did you fucking ask, you dumb senos? You stupid... Oh, he meant over... Five feet over to the left, Elantak. Over there. My first time ever had to explain myself. Earlet, where are you? You're speaking to me from the darkness, apparently. Okay, well, I'm just going to sit here and let her communicate telepathically with me for a bit. I understand how unworthy I am of voice acting in your eyes. <laughs> this may sound like a ridiculous excuse, but I did not want to betray you. I just did it, because funny. You supreme glorious greatness of of terror, I only wish to learn the truth about Crud Archer's demise and find my kin. And when I saw the shard of my world in your dwelling, that trophy mounted on the wall, I was beside myself with fear and rage. And when my dark cousins whispered in my ear that he knew the answer to my questions, I made a mistake. I trusted my kin, and fearing that you might refuse me if you knew where I had been getting my orders from, I simply asked you to direct your ship to the particular system. Did I trust Marazai? No, of course not. I just followed his orders unquestioningly. I thought he spoke of my kin's location to crush my soul, that he wanted me to go there and find only death instead of them. But hope, hope for the better, prevailed over my faith in you, Elantak. Again. This all rests on you, trusting the Dark Eldar over the monkey. Filled with hope, the thought never even crossed my mind that this single thread, forever slipping from my grasp, would lead us to the very heart of the Dark City. I am sorry, His Supreme Glorious Greatness, for Art of Terror, and I wanted you to know that. Alright. Hmm. Yes, I want her to feel bad. You lied to me, you know that, you stupid wench. Lowers her head in shame. Good. 
that is indisputably truth to your words, I should have realized sooner that you were worthy of more than what I offered you. You are worthy of my trust. Forgive me my arrogance, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror. Lay on the flattery a bit thicker, wench. Um... Right, well, I still want to keep my pet Xenos. It's like, I don't want to trust you. Right, okay. She's retarded. I'll just take that into consideration next time. I forgive you. Pet gently. I give you my word, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Art of Terror. I will never betray your trust ever again. Oh, again. Good. You have shown great compassion by accepting me and forgiving my deed. I do not know if I would have been able to do the same. I know you wouldn't, because you're not a very good person. It pains me to know the hardship you had to endure because of me, and you still suffer in this cursed arena, in this cursed city. I also, ill it pauses, as if hesitant to continue. My soul is crushed to Lantak. The loss of Crudarch, the horrors of Komarog, and the Drakari attempting to re-educate me. Trust me, you're gonna get some re-educating on my fucking behalf when we get back home. I have fully paid the price. I disagree. I have lost my path and I can no longer meditate. My body and my soul know no peace. That means that she who thirsts will soon turn her predatory case upon me. Sooner than you think. Hmm. Oh, bestiality. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Tempting. Hmm. Right. The the virgin, I'll uh, hold your hand was you fuck the other guy. Or the Chad. Come on now. Embrace embrace the dog pill. <laughs> embrace the monkey pill. <laughs> oh, the monkey pill. Oh, Jesus, that's worse. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you find a way to deal. <laughs> that one's pretty good, too. It's like, well, that sounds like a you problem here, let's... <laughs> Hmm, 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 I gotta go with the monkey pill. <laughs> it shudders. <laughs> I fucking love that. I love her reactions. <laughs> And ponders your word for a long while as she battles silently with her incredible mountain of prejudices. <laughs> uh, pouring over the countless disgusting implications of what she's about to do. No, I cannot bear it, Alantak. <laughs> the thought of it's too much for me. Well, the fact that you remember this and respect my feelings means a great deal to me. Oh. Ah, oh, help me. Oh, God. The, the, mm, so how are you to regain your powers now, then, I guess? I I don't know. It's not a very helpful answer, is it, Irlet? Um. I don't want to pick the cuck option. I, but <laughs> I hope you find a way to deal with it. Mm. 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 You're unable to get Can that happen? Yeah, apparently. Uh, fine. The game is forcing me towards the cuck option. Oh, I can't help you meditate, but I'll just sit here and fucking stare at you weirdly for a while, okay? We had a saying on Crud Arch, in silence you can hear a heartbeat, the music of the soul trying to burst out. Please share this worthless song with me, Sir Lord's Greatness, Sir Arch of Terror, and may it bring peace to us both. Sits down cross-legged. Begins fapping, I guess. In this empty room, staring at absolutely nothing. Oh. Well, I guess we're done. That was quick. See ya. Alright. So we got her. We've got Argenta. Jay. I hate you, Jay. I don't like you very much. Hmm.
Oh, wait, a renegade medic. Hey, can you fix me? Oh, apparently not. Oh, great. Mm, we're saving a cinnamon bun for last. Hmm, I don't want to talk to Adira. I might have to talk to Adira. Fine. I'll talk to Adira. It did. Her paces back and forth, covering her ears, cursing at invisible interlocutor, interlocutors, and sometimes disordering into pitiful whispers and sobs. Seemingly all of her own volition, her trembling fingers pick at the unhealed wound left by the Xeno device. Hmm. What are your friends behind the door saying? Anything useful? It's harder than usual to pick out anything specific. With all these dampening gadgets around, it's like trying to hear through a wall of static. But if I try harder... Maybe if we find you a chicken, you can decapitate. The threads are very tangled. Some of them are woven together, but each one is trying to pull in its own direction. The puppets think that they have free will, but it's only because they have been ordered to think and act so. This is a skilled puppet master at work here. His dark hand is far away, but that only makes it more terrifying. Even a colorful doll that springs out like a jack-in-the-box and scampers around wherever it pleases does so by his leave. You must listen well to the strange melody and step in time with it. Its music is dismal and dangerous, but it does not echo the chorus of torment. This does not mean the dance will not be bloody, but once you learn it, you can lead the steps. Little time is left to gulp down the bloody dust, the twisted mirror with no reflection beckons you into its labyrinth and offers hope in a moment when death is inevitable. Mm, I... I can't... make out... Damn it! It's a lost cause, Lord Captain. Alright. Well, I know you've had, like, major brain surgery and shit, and that you literally ripped those implants out of your skull about... You know, 10, 15 minutes ago or so, but are you okay? Wait, you're serious? The thing is, Lord Captain, my neighbors from behind the door have come roaring back into my sick little mind. <clears throat> they must have missed me, because they're noisier than ever now. But I guess that's better than being a pawn in the hands of Xenos doing experiments on myself. All right then, I guess you're fine. Looks to me like we're up to our necks in every type of shit known and unknown to humanity. Could there be a way to sneak out of the arena? I don't know, Lord Captain. <laughs> right now, I can't tell the difference between my own thoughts and the voices, let alone come up with an escape plan. But of course, it's possible the whispers will give us a nudge in the right direction. Well, thank you for being useless, as per usual. Jay, I hate you, but I guess I'll talk to you too. Let's see, your lordship, rogue trader, Shireen, bane of my existence and savior of my flesh. Cruel fate has driven us straight into the foulest corner of the galaxy. Home sweet home to the Drukhari scum. I have it on good authority that no one leaves this place. Not alive, not dead, not even in pieces. Your strange Irish-Spanish accent continues to confuse and befuddle me. Even if, as I continue to look at your portrait and thinking to myself, you could have been attractive, but somebody decided to paint you as if you were a... grinning goblin. I'm not the only one who sees it, right? There's definitely something... goblinoid about her. Isn't it? Like, the, the weird little teeth, the way she smiles, not quite happiness, her weird little eyes, the way they're hooded by her massive brow. Uh, they're, it's like a goblin wearing a wig, isn't it? It really is. How are your lungs? Oh. Good, you're going to spare me from that conversation, are you? Thank you. I'm very happy. Let us raise our cups at water in honor of deeds accomplished and in expectation of those yet to come. 
Let's instead speak with the voice module for a little bit. This is the name given on Fenris to our pack father. A commander or captain. An Ed Futter answers to a Jarl, the commander of a great company. Since you are the one who commands your crew, and I follow you at present, I am granting you the honored title of Et Fatter. Why, thank you, Ubugar. Um, danke. Be worthy of it, and see that you do not disgrace this glorious rank. How did you end up here? I've already asked you that. Um, see my resume. Kind of getting out of here. Um, what I guess? I have had a few thoughts on that score. But don't try to pry them out of me. When the time comes, I will share them with you. If you say so, voice box. Perception failed. Hmm. Um. Sure. Not everyone is granted the right to ask such questions. But you... I shall allow it. What do you want to know about the Astartes from the glorious Fenris? Uh, Lord Amp, uninteresting. Go away. <laughs> Should what I told you reach other ears, I shall take your tongue. Uh, it's not particularly secretive. Like, where are you from? Fenris. It's a secret, though. <laughs> It's not, though, Uhugar. It's not. Uh, I don't know if I would click that Instinct one. Instinct bids me to remain silent. Such Fenris... Well, shut up, then. Uh, well, nothing new for him. And I think I pretty much talked to you. Which leaves Cinnamon Bun. All right, let's see if there's any violation options. Oh. Okay, she's still having a bit of a hard time controlling her urge to pop people's brains, I see. Now the lancing pain in your head knocks you off your feet, and you barely manage to plant your hands on the floor before your visions is completely obscured by a blanket of colours. Slowly the world reforms around you, and nightmarish Komrog erupts in the vivid splashes of another's emotions. <laughs> What's wrong? You... You look like you're in pain, says Cassia, as she's tearing out your cerebral cortex. You, you elected to not voice that ca Why? You spent time and money on the voice box of Starties, but not Cinnamon Bun Kitten? You have some weird fucking priorities, old cut. Can you hear me? Your nose is bleeding. Here, use my handkerchief. She stares into your face with her third eye some more. Wow, it's almost as if your brain is bleeding or something. Hmm. Now she's worried, you suddenly realize with clarity. No shit! Um. Oh, yes. Willpower failed. Yep. Please allow me. Now trust me and never stop looking at me. Well, if you insist, Cinnamon Bar Kitten. Do you feel any better? Is there anything else I can do for you? Hmm. Well, we'll slobber on her hand for a bit, because that it, it was written in the Codex of How to Seduce a Noble Woman that you should do so if given the opportunity. And I am glad to have become part of yours. Please, if something like this ever happens to you again, please tell me right away. I will help. I will ease your pain, even though I don't quite understand how my powers spread to you. All I know is that I cannot bear to see you suffer for now. Please get some rest. Okay. Well, Cassia mind-raping me wasn't what I had expected, but I suppose that is a sort of a... I think, is there anything else? That is kind of a romantic moment, I guess. There we go. Oh, what a relief to be talking to you again. Your soul shines like the gold of the sun in the darkness of this place. I figured she had something else. Hmm. How are you holding up? <laughs> Can words ever describe the joy of being free? As for the rest, don't worry about it. I am the blood of House Orselio, its heiress, 
and I will overcome any ordeal to return us to the Expanse. Do you know where we are? Because if you did, you probably wouldn't be using words like free. <laughs> oh, wrong As for the rest, somewhere in the middle of the Dark City, I suppose. They say the human mind cannot fathom the bounds of this place, for the Imperium's largest hives look like grains of sand in comparison. A webway gate built by the ancient Eldari is the only way in. I think you realize as well as I do what that means for us. I wish they would stop using the copyright-friendly term, but it's probably in the licensing agreement with the GW. It's amazing how much Cassie knows about a place so obscure. Good point. There was only pitch darkness inside the Himunculus's artifact. But there is scarcely any more light in the streets of the Dark City, in whose blue-black haze I am almost blinded Heresy by pain. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Clumps of brown and dark green blend with the settling ash of misery, all woven together in a tapestry of every shade of darkness. Depressing. Hmm. I saw in my memory some of has turned out to be true. Yes, yes. What do you mean, Lord Captain? Jay is no prince of plant of wonders. Oh, really now? I didn't know I'd realize that, but... Nice. An ecclesiarch, one of the wisest, once said that we all play our parts by unfailingly serving the Emperor. Sometimes our parts change, but faith, faith remains. Dubious colors would show up every now and then in things Jai said, but every word she ever spoke of him shone with the bright white of faith. Mm, fair enough. Fake it till you make it, I guess. As you may have noticed, we are here because of Irlet. I am sorry, Lord Captain. I should have glimpsed the earthen hue of treachery that creaked between her teeth. But Xenos colors are so... so rank. The variety of hues becomes maddening as soon as you rest your gaze on them. Ah, oh, yes, good. Xenos, disgusting, filthy creatures. Correct, Cassia. You mentioned not being alone in the darkness of the artifact. Was it a figment of clouded reason? Was there really someone else with you? It was real, Lord Captain. I must confess, I have been hounded by eerie strangers for many years. In my dreams, visions, and warp scryings, they try to reach me. They are tormented. They shout something I cannot make out. And one of those strangers... The most frightening one is a woman who always stands aside and merely looks on in disapproval. Ah, disapproving women, the worst kind. Unlike the others, her image manifested itself more clearly each time. The refined features of her elderly face, the long white hair, the empty eye sockets glowing scarlet, and a third eye... The eye of a navigator. <sighs> Once, in the middle of a warp voyage, the old woman dashed toward me and started strangling me. Praised be his mercy, for I was able to banish her to the fringes of my consciousness at that moment. However, that only angered the old woman. That's probably the founder of House Orselio, isn't it? Trying to teach her some sort of a message. I began to see her ever more often, in shadows, at the edge of my vision, in my own reflection. And it was she, too, who waited for me in the darkness of the Hemunculus's cage. I know it for certain. <sighs> now, you know the last of my secrets, Lord Captain. Do you think I'm going insane? No, I think you're a strange science experiment that probably has pieces of your ancestors worked into your flesh, and uh, with being a psychic, that probably has some interesting hmm, connotations. You don't know that old woman? You haven't seen her in no one on home paintings? I have a conjecture, but it is too... too wild. 
Even for me. Oh, really now? And what could this conjecture possibly be? She... is me, Lord Captain. Really? Eh, I thought of that too, but it seemed too obvious. Eh, fair enough. I do not believe you to be insane, Cinnamon Bun Kitten. I merely believe you to be... Mm, crazy. Then... Then I will take every effort to rid myself of that bedevilment. Throw <laughs> a bit of pain on your account. Mm, no, we shall not accuse Cinnamon Bun Try Kitten of Try not things. to squander that sky-blue fabric of hope, Lord Captain. For others' colours too, lighten when they are close to you. Alright. Well, that was actually quite a lot of good dialogue, so nice I went back here. Johnson Smith. My first army was Eldar, but after doing a deep dive into their nature, I don't think they can ever be written correctly. We can't think the same way. Yes, that is probably true. Well, that's the problem when you're doing something... alien in general. Because if you want them to be actually alien, you are going to need to write them as actually alien. And by writing anything as actually alien, you basically need to write something that doesn't make sense to humans. Uh, but doing that, of course, also means that your writing probably isn't going to make sense to humans. Duh. And in the case of the Eldar, well, um, most of them, uh, their making sense just is, you know, kind of retarded, honestly. There's probably better ways to do it, but it's one way. Mm, kill. Right, we'll have to go through the arena again, but I think it was worth it for the additional dialogue. There's also, okay, there's a couple of things here. Firstly, this is like a, a carryover from the old world thing, where during the end times they decided to, uh, to, to, to kind of, of the galaxy. pair up the dark elves and the high elves together. Uh, which was a terrible idea, in my opinion, a very stupid idea all around. And kind of try to, how do I put it, um, rehabilitate the Dark Eldar by making it so that the, the Witch King totally wasn't the bad guy, he was just misunderstood. And the reason why he was kicked out of the Phoenix um, Fire wasn't because the, the gods of the, uh, the Elves were like, Yeah, no, you suck, dude. It was because they were playing a prank on him. It's like, eh, eh, isn't that funny? I was like, no... No, you, you burned my course. flesh off. And it turns out that if Malekith had just stayed intent. in the fire for a little while longer, if he'd just managed to, you know, man up and not be such an enormous vagina, then he would have been the Phoenix King. Which also makes no sense because Malekith be is... Careful not to cross my gaze. Didn't mean to do that. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do at all. Because Malekith is not a very good ruler by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, Malekith is a goddamn retard. Deliver us. Narnation. I did not mean to move her out there for obvious reasons. I am not I'm your Zeus the... pet monkey. Poison doesn't kill her. I challenge you, damn get. Mm, whack. No, use that whack. The special whack. Cubs. <laughs> so it shall be. And I feel like they're doing the same for the uh, the Eldar, tragically. Where they're kind of trying to blur the Let's lines between Dark Eldar this. and Eldar. Which is not really what that's supposed to be like. Because in reality, the Eldar hate and fear the shit out of the Dark Eldar. Like, they view the Dark Eldar as just absolute abominations. And they would not work with them. Like, there would not be a situation 
in which they look at the monkey and they go like, oh, well, you know, you're a monkey. I I have read terms. I can't so really. Ah, okay, I'm going to re reload that because that was all because of one enormous fucking misclick. And I don't want to pile on any more injuries on her. They hate and fear the Dark Eldar far more than they hate and fear the uh, the humans. Like they, they view the humans as basically just beasts, like agency-less animals that inhabit the uh, I won't tolerate inhabit weakness. space. Whereas the Dark Eldar are their twisted cousins. They're like the worst reflection of what the Eldar could possibly be. They are their literal nightmares. <laughs> And yet here, the Eldar is like, well, you know, he's, he's, he's kin, I guess. <sighs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It never made any sense in Warhammer Fantasy, and it never makes any sense in Warhammer 40k either. You really believe you can match a child of a Surian? <sighs> he's also reeks of blizzard, doesn't it? Of, bl of blizzardification. Oh, God. That is a genuine annoyance I have with a lot of modern day 40k. It reeks far too much Isn't of blizzardification. Because this, this was what Blizzard once did to the entirety of like the 40k this setting or warm fancy with uh, Warcraft and with Starcraft, where they took these very specifically dark settings. And they turned them far more <sighs> fluffy worthy and gay. And now Games Workshop seems to be turning course. the setting fluffy worthy and gay all by their own account. Which I'm not a fan of. Not in the slightest. Go on, sentient globulates of Coom. If you hit me enough times, I'm sure eventually your two percent chance to hit will kick in or something. Not a problem for me. Maybe. Probably not, honestly. Suits my purposes. Service guarantee. Nothing I can't do. And on the off chance I can hit and knock off the shield, and I can. Lovely. I understand your intent. Buff, buff, buff. Oh, and uh, sniper rifle, please. Fortune favors the swift. That uh, is one action point, so I might as well do that. Ancestors guide me. Seventy damage, not bad. And set up the free shot. I refuse to suffer it. Ex fucking excuse me? The abominable filth is down. Uh deals sixty rending damage. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh right, very well, uh, I suppose. Uh-huh. Previously, he couldn't even hit me. Now he one-shots the character. Ah, yeah, good job. If I may. Oh, well, let's try and you kill you before you do that again. Me. I guess. Service guaranteed citizenship. Ah, move too far away. Wolves rain. Alrighty then. Well, use your savage smack Lord on that thing. Well, that's gonna decrease my DPS my somewhat, but. My is oh well. Ruined. Fair enough, I suppose. All pounding neatly into its butt. Is that one dead? Uh, nobody's very close. I uh, can't quite reach him. As the uh, Emperor commands, I act. Oh, wow, it hit. My Keramite hide is strong! Keramite? Not Ceramite, Keramite, I see. My Keramite. 
my caramite hard. Uh, Already done. If you say so, Ugar. If you say so, your caramite very strong. Faith without deeds is worthless. Bonk. Weren't you supposed to do your free shot now? Oh, you can't see him, can you? Okay, fair enough. Hum. I don't want to shoot up there because that's kind of where she's chilling. Hmm. If it uh, serves your cause. Just a single shot to plunk off the shield, then I guess. Well, luckily, he didn't hit me again. Isn't this a job for the serfs? And uh, try to die with grace, at least. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Mm, Should have moved you closer, actually. Don't dishonor the wolf with Do you such have your shield on? You did. Okay. Well, unfortunately. Cubs play. I thought that was supposed to give you three AP. Ah, darnation. I do I'll hate do these dumbass shields. It does make it does take a long ass time Dows to kill them. The weak. <laughs> Good one, Argenta. Oh God. Okay. He <laughs> he. I just healed a lot. Yeah. Suits my purposes. I'm seeing this. God, I am fear in Cassie. Time. I am a navigator. Uh, knock off not it. A MS shield. Me. Bap it. If you insist, Lord Captain. Bap it again. Actually, I should have used that on that one, but I think I get another one, so it's fine. Bap it. Continue bapping it. If Isn't I bap that this one a job now. for the serfs? Good girl. Good girl. All too easy. So it shall be. That's one. Fortune oh. favors the swift. And reload that one, just because I'm not sure you'll bother reloading in between rounds. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. If I may. <laughs> Help me, Lord Captain. Oh, don't worry. It's just a little Ooh, headache. It's fine. You become the old father's worthy instrument. Just a little headache. You'll survive. In fact, you'll regain the hit points literally next As turn. As the Emperor commands, I act. Actually... Faith without deeds is worthless. No, Guided it won't necessarily actually matter. I might. I'm thinking I could use the uh, slow fire shooting, but it would result in the exact same Shoot thing. One shot, then a shield, one shot, then a shield. So it would do literally the exact same outcome. Back to your sniper rifle, because that one's I far more ammunition effective. Pet monkey. Cool. Isn't this a job for the serfs? No! These rupee flashes are choking me! Come on. Die, 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 die. Die? You had a shield then. No, you don't. Thank God. Alright. Uh, Nichnev. I was honestly so mad with how Grisus went out, killed with his own mace by an already defeated foe. So pissed. My favorite faction. Ah, Grisus Goldtooth, yes. One of many characters that were given a less than honorable send-off, shall we say, in the, uh, the end times. John Smith, we worked and worked, working tirelessly. We wandered and pondered about the wages, the work, wishing the works would become wondrous and wonderful. You were trying to make me misspeak, weren't you, you little shit? But I 
didn't. I mastered your talons effortlessly, as I will no doubt make sure that you will remember. Oh, hey, you're alive again. Um, on half health, but you're alive again. Right, well, I'm sorry to inform you that there still isn't any actual pieces of cover for you to occupy, so... You better be good at judging, bruh. Uh, where did I put it? Let's... There. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Right. Pray. If I must. This tedium is beneath me. One buff, and that's a free shot, I so I believe your I can shoot both. Ancestors guide me. Mm, nope, that was not as free as I thought it was. All right. Buff. If it serves your cause, Buff. if I must, I am not your Xenos pet. Mold. No weakness is hidden from my sight. I wish it wouldn't require this me to scroll back and up all the time. I understand your intent. Well, he didn't shoot the Dark Elder, so that's a step forward. Hum. Fourteen percent. Yeah, that's necessarily worth it. Already done. God, I wish I could tell myself to aim better. Eh, hardly unpredictable. Suits my purposes. Can I? No, I can't. So well, shall it be. Ready a full Wolf's auto and a uh, smacky attack then. Thankfully, despite all of Step his great aside. speed, the, the snake is, is coming. really, really I'm shit at aiming. I'm to being ordered around. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. And every debuff in the book. Now. Um, I will herd the prey. Marishai, you are going to be what we humans call bait. Behold. Okay, increase dodge, good. Watch. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yep. That was what I didn't want you to do. That's why I put Marajai out there, but that is what you did decide to do. Unfortunately, the fact that it kills most of my characters in one hit makes uh, positioning a little bit difficult. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. For you, my Emperor! The volatility Doubt of every weak. character hitting for 60 <laughs> gosh darn hit points. You're not going to be hitting him anytime soon, so that's fine. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Two down. What next? Just in case you read super ridiculously close, slowly, we're gonna keep this up on screen for a while. Ah, oh, no, don't know. Okay, just what am I fighting? At least voice act that part, Jesus. Right, a perfect specimen. Oh my, another one. Huh. Is is this the part where you go? Uh, 
Overexerted. Of course it was a smack to the head. Everyone is getting head traumas today. Absolutely everyone. God, why oh why? Why is everyone getting bonks to the noggin all of a sudden? And Iterate, you go over there. Right, you are going to boost Isn't our Gento's turn. Sucks? And our Gento's just going to heal wounds. you up. House Orcelio thanks you. Try not to, ma try to make sure we don't get any more nastiness. Okay, well that was certainly something. Faith without deeds is are, uh, are you gonna move every turn too, perchance? Rejoice in battle. I'll do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is why I was chosen. Nice. As the Emperor commands, I act. A lot of armor on that thing. It's not moving every turn, though, which is nice. Are you gonna move, mayhaps? Uh, let's see. Oh. I am a navigator, let's debuff not it a first. I've got this sneaking suspicion that this might be one of those that... If I may? ...moves whenever you hurt it. Sneaking suspicion. Sneaking, sneaking suspicion. Isn't this a job for the serfs? You don't frighten me. No? Hmm. Right, well, Idolette, let's see if you get schmucked. Just designate a target. My soul belongs to the infinity circuit. Ouch. Oh, you did get schmucked, but you lived, so there's that. Um... You know what? You just go hide in a corner somewhere. If I must. If it serves your cause. I don't understand why sometimes it allows you to skip the I animations and sometimes it doesn't. That's very confusing to me. Right, I wanted I to not agony. attack other people, so... Build. Go over there. With grace and malice. I feel like making Build. you bleed whilst fighting something like this might oh, be a I terrible so. idea, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna no, nod. No, no, not, not for now. Okay, I should be. I should have been over there. I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It might not matter. Cubs play. Right. Hit. None can my hand is thunder. My strike is ruin. Thank you. Some more monologuing. Like, my like, my like. I feel like what they wanted to recreate here was that scene with the fat guy from Gladiator. Like, that Carthaginian horde! You know, that guy. I don't think they succeeded. <laughs> Succubus in Astoria answered the challenge and descended upon the arena. Oh. Oh, God, and a pain engine, too. Smite the Xenos! Right, so, whilst I'm doing this, do I have an opportunity to bring some stuff out of my inventory? Um, here's one fresh energy, uh, another, uh, all dinner. 
One old injury, that's really good. Can I... Ugh. So I, I literally can't actually put any fucking equipment on my characters, which is kind of problematic. Kind of problematic indeed. Alright, well, we're just gonna fucking suck it up, I guess. Hmm. That is a lot of garbage coming my way. Right, they basically all move faster Please. than me, which is unfortunate. If you insist, Lord Captain. Hopefully, I've managed to place the space woof in between if most of them and me. This tedium is beneath me. Damn, you got a lot of hit points. Yeah, woe to you! And a little free shot, too. Fortune favors the swift! Of luck. Get dicked. You bite Your like a death pop. is approaching. One damage. Oh wow, she hit. That's I'm, I'm almost amazed and surprised. If I must. I am not your Xenos pet, Monkey. Um, if it serves your cause, boy. ancestors you guide me. In blood. I am not your Xenos pet, Keep Monkey. Twenty, goddamn it! All right. Well, this tedium is beneath me. Cue up a shot on the pain engine, because I'm presuming Red that's just gonna move in closer. Ulfar's a big fat DPS. Tanker. Ow. Is that all you've got? Let them tremble. This would be a lot tougher without Uwugar, I I will admit. Right, switch over to the bolter. Get him to cover. Rack up the full auto. Really? You're going to step around that corner? Um, yeah, I suppose it. it doesn't make too much of a difference. Oh, no, you stepped around the other corner. Okay. Argenta, sometimes... Sometimes you make Faith me wonder. without deeds is worthless. This is a perfect opportunity to use the AoE attack. Is for the weak. Burn, bitches. Oh, and this time you... You gotta, commands, I you gotta step around the corner. You tell me you're gonna step around, woman. Otherwise, you're gonna make it really goddamn diff. Did you just skip both Oh, no, you didn't. Otherwise, you're gonna make it really goddamn difficult for me to figure out what the fuck Not you're doing, woman. Nothing ah. I can't do. Women. Suits my purposes. All uh, right. How much tactical master I have? Twenty. Tempted to do a Kasplui. Nothing I can't do. I think it's time for a Kasplui. You call this a strike? <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, that's. <laughs> Emperor, give All right, me Cassia, this is a little risque, but you can hit literally the entire enemy fucking group. Woe to you! A one. Isn't this a job? And a two. A nice one, Cassia. And yes, it does act when it takes damage. Figured. I wish I had just a little bit more for finest hour. That would have been perfect. And then debuff a lot of them. I am a navigator, them. not a servitor. Right. I then give them something the else to shoot at. Uh, you will pay for this in blood. Broken already. 
ready? Watch. Oh, your last stroke of luck. Kills. Very nice. Very nice. With grace and very menace. Nice. Another one. All right. Ufa. Uvigar. Uvivivivivigar. Uvivivivigar. Hmm. Keep those two busy, please. See how the wolf succeeds! So it shall be! Feel the icy bite of death! My blood sinks in I have become the old father's worthy instrument! Dodgy little piece of shit, are ya? Uh, uh, Kneel before me, praising. Okay. You you like shoot him. Bomb. That's fine. I don't really mind. If it serves your cause. Yeah, that's okay. <sighs> if I must. Uh, I'll show you the real pain. If it serves um, your cause. Down it. Uh, very, very, very close. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. At least this thing is nowhere near as devastating as the one in the Bangled sector, so. Right. Finish it off. Strike is a prayer. I'll do it. And just a single little bolter shell. Faith without deeds is worth the none you can escape the Emperor's judgment. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. How many are alive? A couple of which guardians lying pathetically on the floor mewling. My tactics are flawless. Oh, what a tragedy. Suits my purposes. Ugh. You will pay for this in blood! Even I can hit somebody who's lying literally still on the ground. Don't distract me. Well, it's better than what he can do, at least. Me? Another foe painted black. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. This is going pretty well so far. You didn't I'm quite stand happy. A chance. Now the dead one. And Kikiros. So I'm thinking. And painful is the way. I'm thinking we're gonna take you on in Melee. With your Hundred and thirty five, nice. With grace and malice. He does pit pretty hard, this guy. I uh, I can not really dispute that. Oh hey, you were alive, were you? Huh. I'm sorry, I didn't even notice you there. My hand is thunder! My strike is uh, uh, this can't be Oh, trust me, it can. Uh. I'll return the pain tenfold. And no weakness is hidden from my side. Really? Sight. That was enough either. God, she's got a lot of hit points. I'll give her that. 693 total. My god. Not that it's going to be enough, of course, but... Still a lot of hit points. Oh, boy, more. Oh... With me, my merchant vagabond, make haste. The fog are. Oh. <sighs> Victory away! Yeah. Right. I guess this will give me an opportunity to bring out the med kits, huh? Every time they do that, there's like a really long pause before they do anything. Not this time, though. This time, it's like the five. Emperor. Five milliseconds, path. and then the game's like, ah, by the way, I'm the gonna move on now. Subside. Ah, I can see bright colors again. Be strong. Right. Greater trials lie ahead. I must 
Thank you. Let me tend to your wounds. I'll take it from here. Be strong. Right, Greater trials actually... lie ahead. Your technology is limited. Let me tend to your wounds. But I am grateful. Or Celio thanks you. Mm. The pain will subside. Better than nothing. I didn't match the single. Huh. I thought it said, yeah, here's one fetching if no, or if none, old injury, one old injury, press successful medic test. I guess I failed every single medica test, I guess. Because they've all got their old injuries. Eh, well, that sucks, but... Speaking of, this should give me... Yeah, there you go. Collect all. Right, what fresh hell awaits me here then? Um, none of you are gonna stop me? Try the strange drink. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I'm gonna quick save before I do it, but sure, why not? Why don't I go kill someone instead? Oh, come on. Wolfgar? Oh, no, no, come on, Wolfgar. Wolfgar, you drink. Mead, Fenrisian mead. It's basically just fuel that's on fire. Surely you can gulp this down. Don't, don't fail me now. Come on, boy. You're gonna drink the strange drink. I don't care. Get it inside of your belly. Centuries of service and practice. Your, your vision blurs and your legs feel unsteady. Well, it's gave me uh, twelve experience points. Well, that's useful. Thank you. All right, Jane Adira, too. Envoy of the Poisoner's Whisper. What's this? New playthings, no doubt. And here I thought the Reaving Tempest was intending to offer up your paltry cabal for our entertainment. The Poisoner's Whisper should learn to live up to their name, lest the cabal of the Wounded Skies live up to theirs and make you bleed upon the Dark City, you sharp-tongued pest. No, no, no. We were supposed to escape. What is this place? Are we the main course of this shindig? This is one of the satellite towers of the main spire of the Reaving Tempest. What luck! Your uh, Messi's throat is now, t is now that much closer to my claws. But first I have to deal with my, with my sister's pathetic guests. Did the jester bring me here to listen to these dung-ridden beasts practice their meager wits? These blathering xenos are making me angry. I'll kill them. Steady the Juzinos. I'm a different indicating these two belong to two different cabals. You don't say. They, they did literally tell me so. Uh, have to settle for scraps? I like that one. You belong to the Wounded Skies. I will help you remember the name by burning it into your eyeballs. The Wounded Skies are always so hasty and so eager to rush ahead. They fail to notice the dagger being shoved into their backs by my worthy aspirants who are offended by their witlessness. I see you not wasted your time in the Dark City, and you have properly studied our way of thinking. Terrifying howl. Filled with longing and the core promise of a swift yet painful demise. Oh no. He does. He does bark. Why does he bark? <laughs> what? Die, inhuman scum! I will revel in your pain. Okay. Um. What was the point of that skill check? Um. Prepare for battle. Get characters into position. Okay. Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to leave? Am I supposed to fight them all? I mean, it mentioned something about up there. Am I supposed to get out of here? I feel like maybe I should get out of here. I feel like I shouldn't just hang around. I feel like this is the video game situation in which you should try to escape, so... Let's try that, I guess. 
There's a precious little cover around here, I will say. All right, Uwugar, uh, stand out in the open to try and draw the enemy's fire, if at all possible. Okay, if Irlux. I, may. I don't like the guys up there. I'd rather they die. I am not your Xenos pet. I deal death with my hands. Like that, yes, exactly like that. Thank you very much. Erlet. If I must. Appreciate it. All right, let's see what kind of stats are on these guys then. Your misery is my Help me, Lord Captain. All right, are they? Uh, are they fighting each other, or is that just the usual AI doing AI things? I understand your intent. Mm -hmm. Another soul slips beyond the veil. If it and serves poop. your cause. I hear you moving no more. That was a that was a beautiful hip shot right there. I am not your Xenos pet you know monkey. He escapes us. Enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Mm, that hurt a bit. That's the true master. Inflict the pain. Good job shooting through the walls there. I'm I'm quite impressed. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Bunker, bunker, bunker. I will tear your heart out for this. Cassie, my darling dear. Um, hmm. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Let's spread out a little bit. Me? If you insist, Lord you Captain. You unleashed my fury. No! These ruby flashes are choking me! You have unleashed my furry. It's right here, in my hands, wiggling. Shakes it a little bit. It is handled. Kneel before me, pretty! For a flesh crafter. Notice the way its fluff wiggles in the sunshine. Glistens. No, they're definitely fighting each other. To some degree, at least. Oh yeah, they're definitely you fighting each other. Pay for this in blood. You are mine now. Uh. They're definitely fighting each other. Nito Cheeto. The fame hungry come. Well, in that case, do not mind if I do. I'll just Corpse. hit you over the head. of lesser creatures. I am a prey taker. Watch. And why would I do that? A perfect killing strike. Don't distract me. It's been a while since I have two melee capable Build. characters. I remember. I remember the feel. It feels nice. Alright. Uh, hmm. Kind of a difficult position to find myself in here. If I do that, will that cause. Already done. No, she doesn't mind me doing that. Okay, that's. Suits good. my purposes. Eh, well, don't mind me. I'm just going to be here bleeding to death for a little bit. I'll return the pain tent. My mastery is unsurpassed. Skitia, my Karamite hide is strong. your heart out for this. He does say Karamite hide. His Karamite. His tough Karamite hide. My blood sings in anticipation. My artifice is unsurpassed. Artifice. Not artifice. Artifice. I feel like there's a lot of words in the English language that people don't like very much. This tedium is beneath Artifice. I'm pretty sure it's artifice. 
I'll be annoyed if I it isn't Archivus. You strike at the Emperor's faithful. Sorry about that. Because it's artifact, right? So surely it is artifacts. I'm like artifact. Now I don't even know what I was saying anymore. Nobody escapes. A work for a flesh crafter. Right, sorry, Argenta. I didn't mean to shoot you in the back like that. You know I love you. Let me educate you on the artifact. is a prayer. Good girl. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. It's not even a made-up word like Ceramite is. Eradicated. Then again, 40k does have a nasty habit of uh, using Caesar's K's, Hypha's Cain, for example. Which I still refuse to acknowledge, mind you. I do not believe that there is any such I thing as Kyphus Cain or as Cyphus Cain. For very, very Me. obvious reasons. Cyphus Cain simply sounds way better than goddamn Kyphus Cain. In fact, Kyphus Cain sounds fucking retarded. Around. It sounds Be dumb. I will carve runes out of your bones. I don't like that. And I will not tolerate anyone calling him Kaifer's Cain in my presence. Because it's dumb and gay. What a pitiful sight. Ah, well, um... The game hasn't told me anything, like, run towards the exit. So I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna kill all of these. Seems reasonable enough. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of hit points, so... My strike is ruined. I figure I can do so easily enough. Especially seeing as they are rapidly depleting their own hit points as well. It is Your skill is lacking. <laughs> Watch. I really need to find out where that damned needle gun I had was. Nothing I Because I swear do. to Jesus, I had a needle gun. Like a needle rifle, specifically. I swear to God I had one. Mm. Doubt is for the weak. You can't hit anything irrelevant, actually. And I need something with a bit more range. My mastery is unsurpassed. Skidja! My Karamite hide is strong! Let the true master inflict the pain! Are they spawning? You bite like a pop! This can't be! My artifice is un- Artifice. Like, artifice. Surely, surely it's artifice. It's not artifice. Surely not. I understand your intent. I am not your Xenos pet. Monkey. If it serves your cause. You will pay for this in blood. Hmm. Ah, Genta. You know what? You're kind of wounded, so you go up the stairs and see if there's a despawn point up there or something. Faith without deed, you, my emperor. You can toss a couple of bolt rounds down there whilst you're doing it too. I have read tomes of military tactics. That looks toxic, so let's not step in it. Ah, my old enemy, elevation. Right, that's not gonna hit anything, either. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I am a navigator, not a servitor. A born predator does not become prey. I will destroy my fury. I am disappointed in your charge range, sir. Oh, it's not your charge range that's the problem, it's elevation that's the problem. Okay. There we go. All right, go all the way over there. Mm. Okay, that's kind of cute. <laughs> he just he just walks through them, and so then when he's in past, they just kind of fall over. 
Bill, I'm done playing with you. I will hurt the prey. Another one bites the dust, and another it one would be gone, beneath another one me gone, to even another one bites it. the dust. Your misery is my treat. Emperor, deliver us. <sighs> if I must. Die. I understand your intent. This team is beneath so me. No! Better. So, any, uh... I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury! Nope, I think I'm just supposed to kill them all. Okay, well, fair enough. If I may... <coughs> How dare you! You are mine now. Nice, that was a shot worthy of Jay Hidara right there. I challenge you, damn it! I don't even think he's using his knife half the time. I'm pretty sure he's just hitting them. None can do this better than a warrior of the All Father. But I told you to charge. Well, never mind. <laughs> With grace and malice. Kneel before me, breaking You have literally three hit points left. I feel like surrendering might be a better option for you right now. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Try to die with grace, at least. <gasps> what a pleasure. You're staring into the eyes of an animal that enjoys killing. No, it does not enjoy it. It just kills. Finding no joy and delight in doing so, it kills because that is its nature. The Emperor protects Warrior. For the Allfather. Allfather's bristling, fiery hair lies flat once more, and the imprint of death vanishes from his gaze. The face of a wild beast gives way to the grimace of a weariness, grief, and shame. Oh, come on now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You're just a little angry. It's entirely fine. You're supposed to be angry. Honorably dispatch the Emperor's enemies. It was not devotion to the Old Father that guided my hand, only the black malice of Wolfen. You're not Wolfen. If you were Wolfen, you wouldn't be here now. Hmm. I'm not going to believe in just dragged us into this place. Yes, where is that slippery wretch? Let me have a word with him. Now, like, Wolfen are very different. Like, he isn't going to turn Wolfen out of nowhere. That's not really how that works, really. It's not It's not battle-raged berserker nonsense. Like, it's, it's a mutation. Um, usually, it's caused immediately upon the implementation of the gene seed, or later on by corruption. It's not... Normally, something that just kind of happens then wears off. Your dance is now to blue, and I lament the darkness in the eyes that saw the path. I peer into those tunnels, black and bleak, a gleam I seek, the one that points the way to your imprisoned kin in Tempest's cage. Because a jester is back again. If you start weaving, you're weaving your robes of rotten claptrap again, I'll rip out your useless tongue. Farce here. At the top of the spire, they are all there. Help them, Arabinian, and help me. Take me away from here, what is all over soon. Disdain you not, will I with a refusal? Oh, that was a farce here lying on the table there, getting tortured. Your souls are fain, will I keep safe as well? But leave to me reality, Farseer, and dreams I'll give into your worthy hands. With a solemn strike, the Harlequin ends his kinsman's torment. Cantratiel, who chose the path of the seer. Moran told me he disappeared as soon as the cataclysm befell Kradarch. Despite this mean, my kin are being held. Does this mean my kin are being held captive at the top of the reaving temper spire? The truth is ready to reveal itself to me if I but stretch out my hand. 
Your colour, Xenos, are fractured and wrong, as if refracted through a distorted prism. What should be a familiar what be familiar is dispersed, and the bedazzling shades won't stop twisting madly. So many things can three eyes glimpse at once. Shael's veiled paths are cavernous, are caverns of the soul, but with a thousand sights you could not see the wrecks of fates beneath the reality. Past creaking waltz will twirl you round in halls of intertwining serendipity. But not just yet, the dance calls for a pair. Your partner is for now tied up with me. You already said that! I don't understand. You already said this! Dumb! Dumb Xenos! Dumb! Bap it head! Drag me here to save Farsa, is that it? Well, presumably. You listen well, O pathless wanderer. Night's music left motif you have discerned, a little, a title virtuose you have earned. The grand finale of this gory piece, where perfidity and cunning reign supreme, shall now unfold my merchant vagabond. I uh, presume he was a valuable prisoner. A uh, farseer, yes, a very valuable prisoner. The executioners lost interest and blithely tossed the toy despised aside, proclaiming it a gift to empty bellies. He let the rabble tear into the scraps, and tooth and claw they fought to claim a share, with every one extolling his largesse. Right, and what do you want from me, then? Stuff! Lots of stuff, apparently. Comorog's ancient law was boldly spurned, and too despoiled by Cradock's remains. The Tempest mistress, spurned by avarice, forbidden plunder brought to her dark nest. And though the city shrinks from those whose souls in darkness gleam with coruscating flame, the interdict is scorned, the pact ignored. Comorog waits, Comorog tastes its doom. To make of drama farce beyond belief, a pair uncredited assume the stage. A Kotra monkey, a captive of a thief, a dancer, makeshift poet, guileful knave. When chorus note falls silent evermore, the last a duty will perform, and then the first will move his exodus enact. Farces. Eremris brought Assyriani Farsa to the Dark City, you stupid, desperate shrew. If this news reaches the... Oh, but of course it has reached him already. You, Arabenian, you came to Komrog to inform Vect of my sister's crimes and rescue her prisoner. Incidentally, psychers are a pretty big no-no in the Dark City, because if a psyker were to, oh, you know, go... Kablooey inside of the Comrogian webway, that would be a very, very bad thing. It has happened on occasion before, be a, mind you, uh, invasions of demons, and it has usually been absolutely catastrophic. I am revealed, and intrigue is curtain torn. The puppet master deigned to briefly let me be the cross piece of his artistry. The tweaks and tugs, the strings for dance and death, to Tempest's mistress, Varish, I do say. I have fashioned from your shackles a garot. Your burning wrath, my thief, direct her way, and forth you'll see the fruits of vengeance brought. The accusations of consorting with Monkey are such a trifle compared to an attempt to bring about a disjunction. If only I had known it. Had Iremeris not managed to keep it secret from me. I wonder how many times the Nazariki cursed himself for not overthrowing Iremeris at the Obsidian Court when he had the chance. He had unknowingly spared the one his ruler had condemned. Hardly an excuse that will help him at his next meeting with Vect. Hmm. All right. One more good reason. I had enough reasons even without this revelation, Keg Morag. I'm half a step away from starting to see my expulsion from the Cabal as a blessing and not a punishment. The cradle's fragment, the cradle's fragment, smoldered dimly there, where tight has drawn the tempests all together. Dare you plunge your hand into the flame and drag truth embers out into the light? Orabinin, you ask if I am too afraid to try to save the little that remains of my home, now that the wind of hope fans the flames of the coming truth? Even if the fire of truth burns me from me within, I will follow this path to the end. 
I wish you would all shut up with your faggoty ass speaking nonsense. It annoys me, it does. Ilantark. The Arbinian love jests, but this is not one. Please, before it is too late, I, we must save the farces. Allow me to go with you to the spire, to that nest of depravity, to that haven of pain, anger, and betrayal of my kind. Uh, sure, just spare me further wafflings, please. Oh, no. I find myself wondering if a single farseer, gazing at the hazy visions of things yet to come, ever glimpsed a future where the key to their salvation stemmed from the dew of a monkey and an outcast. Come along, let us tear the farseers' lives from the clutches of my insatiable cousins. If you dare open your fungity hole again, I will shoot you. <sighs> I really hate the Elder. Strive up to where the thieving storm has built its squalid nest among the darkened sky. The tempest plunder horde are buried there, and captives, riches, trophies all within. Amidst this cache, a gate to real space find. Pass through to freedom tempting and so craved. Companions have I brought, and steps revealed. My line runs out. I have no more to give. The stage is yours, my merchant vagabond. Go fetch a vessel swift, and get you gone. Ah, a ship. We'll finally leave this horrible place flooded with scarlet hues of agony and washed out tinges of despair. I do have my own ideas as to how this should end. Hmm. Hmm. Anyone in the clutch of the moon? Not even the Xenos. Alright. We have spoken enough words. It's about time. Video game, how did you do that to me? You were supposed to give me the option to loot the corpses before leaving. You know, the usual gather thingy, the thing you always not do. Why did you not do that there? Way. Video game! I hate you so much. Let me guess, you didn't quick save that, did you? Actually, did you? No, you didn't. Okay, well, I'm not bothering going through all of that again. Like, I know I've made you think that every time you leave a room, you get to do the thing, but this time I elected that you wouldn't do the thing. Duty prevails. So, ha ha! Fuck you! Watch your steps. Alright, armor of a new despair. For me. How very cute and, cute and fluffy waffy. I'll lay claim to the stars. The two pilots are already disarmed and shackled. They give you a haunted look as you approach them, but do not dare to say anything. You're taking a loss of the Xenos boat. Sure, its design and certain parts appear bizarre, but you can still guess their purpose. You could probably steer it. I can steer a gondola, Elantak. We do not need these pilots. Hmm. You are surplus to requirements. <sighs> you no, wait, we will cooperate. That might have been a really bad idea, mind you. That could have been a terrible idea. In fact, it's almost likely it had been a terrible idea, it's but I liked time. it. And so I decided to commit to it. Well, I'm here now. Where is here? The country inspires too large to see in its entirety. Its true proportions are shrouded in shadows, and you feel as if those shadows try to envelop and swallow you whenever you look away. So that's our way out, eh? Can't wait. I can't wait to get far away from here. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really want to see a real sun, not those pale, feeble things amongst the spires. I smell blood in the air. Blood that is about to be spilt. I hear the echo of clashing swords and the terrified screams of Xenos writhing under our heel. Oh, father, what a marvelous feast you have prepared for me. 
Oh, the Golden Throne, we made it! And only one piece! Not bad. But you can't, can't relax just yet, we've still got a long way to go. The colors are here. The colors here are especially dark and dangerous. It is as if I am draw drowning, drowning, drowning in a bottomless ocean of billowing haze. But what is it? I feel a faint tremor coming from deep inside the spire, like the core of the immaterium, except much purer. The spire of the raving tempest, the seat of my cabal. Both a place to find respite from the scheming of our enemies, and a deadly trap for those too weak and soft for our ranks. The heart of the spire contains a secret, an ancient webway gate that has remained sealed for many, many eons. Iremris kept it in case a vexed noose happened to tighten around the Cabal's neck. No one save for her and certain other Cabalites know where exactly in real space the gate leads. A perfect escape route, and I can open it for you. Alright, out the hole we go. You cannot wait to leave Komorog, and I cannot wait to pay my sister a visit. Rest assured, she is somewhere nearby. I have a... a desire. Before we leave the spire, there is something I want to pick up. Something memorable. I left it in the Cabal abode. I do not want it to fall into the hands of others when Karen e Carrion Eaters and Lutfus flood the spire. After we are gone, there could be something in it for you. Sure, loot. Of course, first we need to find my raider. Most likely at the end of the dock outside the spire. Let's go to the end of this terrace before we enter the spire. Elantark, my kin from Crodarch are still there. I can sense it, as I can see the flames of their souls inexorably going out. Fury and fear are devouring me from the inside out, and I do not know what frightens me more, the grim answers that hide behind the spire's walls, or the scars that my heart will hear once I discover them. Yet I must learn the truth about my world. Perhaps this is the day the outcasts find her path again? Alright, come along you two, everyone, everybody else. Anyone else have any errands we need to run before we escape Comorong? Anything else? Any dalliances? Any you know, handkerchiefs you want picked up? Flowers? Uh, anything? We've got plenty of time. It's not like the entire witch's cult of Comorong is hunting us down or anything. You speak the truth, Lantark. Let us be on our way. We will tear their lives from the clutches of my insatiable cousins. I find myself wondering if a single farseer gazing at the hazy... You already said this! As for the webway gate that the Ar Abinian mentioned, for it to open before you and let you enter the webway, you would require help from one of our kindred. I could try to open... Irelet, you're standing next to the guy who said he was going to open it for us. Why are you sp still mouthing at me? If you wish me to use my knowledge and open a path out of Comrog for us, find this item. Without it, I am powerless to make the webway allow us entry into Labyrinth. Cabalites, witches, incubi, at Iremris' side. That is all. What is the plan to find your kin? Farseers are not easy captives to keep. Whatever the Dark Ones are using to repress my kin's powers, those tools will be noticeable. I will find a way to them. Alright. Well, first, we need to find his dumbass boat and whatever he was None keeping in his dumbass boat. In my way. What is that? Oh, it's a trap chest, presumably. Hmm. Come here, his supreme glorious greatness, Archer. Take a look at this view. Uh. No. Why would I want that? Comrog is the greatest thing ever created by an intelligent race. Surely you wish to see it, as it's meant to be seen, to behold in all its magnificent detail. No. I'm not going over to the ledge with you, Dark Eldar. I don't trust you. I don't need your trust, it's beam glorious greatness. I'm offering you a chance to learn something new. Okay, the game gives me no choice. Fine, walk over to the fucking Dark Eldar on the ledge then. Oh, what is it, Mr. Dark Eldar person? What do you want with me near this sudden and drastic drop? 
A chasm yawns endlessly below the cyclopean spires of Komrog, piercing upward out of the gloom. The details of these vast structures are hidden by the hazy gloom. The many lights of the spire's terraces, which resemble March gas, are all their bright colours with this bleak and awe-inspiring vista. The towering height takes your breath away, and, you're almost, and you almost swoon. And then a gentle shove at your back makes you lose your balance. Surprisey, surprisey, Wisey. The moment stretches into an eternity. Your firm footing is swept out from under you. Your heart stops beating entirely. The chasm below seems to rush towards you, ready to swallow you whole. <laughs> and then clawed fingers close around your whist, wrist. Holding your fault. <clears throat> I swallow my own breath. But holding you suspended over the abyss. But as I laughter as rings with dark delight when he finally tucks you, tags you back into the radar. Oh, you joker, you. Terror, unbridled, exquisite terror. Far more bites to it than the stale, predictable pain of torture victims that burns in your chest, that tang in your mouth. Can you feel the blood roaring in your so veins, your heart citizen. battering out a march of triumph? Life becomes more vivid when death can come at any moment. The supreme glory is greatness or out of terror. I will continue to remind you of that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, does the plasma fucking pissed left your anus when we we're out of here. Tempest Cavalites have already picked the raider clean. That means that I, what I seek must be hidden somewhere in the spire, I think. I think it's in the torture chamber. Once inside, we must proceed through the first chamber directly ahead and turn left, then left again. Come, I intend to claim what is mine. Yes. I won't tolerate weakness. So, uh, can any of you open that? It's just, this is like red. No? Okay. Jonathan Smith says, I will enjoy you unleashing you chaos in the Dark City. I hope that's an option. I hope there's an option to kill one of the farces and just create an enormous rift to see demons flood in. That would be a good thing. I hear shooty noises. Victory awaits. Suffering is an acquired taste. Is that and a I timing puzzle? I see. Who lack I hate timing puzzles. It is. Uh, apparently not one you can dodge, mind you. <laughs> I am not a vessel oh, of pain. Need I need for my their gut. Oh, he got through. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Mm. She got through too. Yay. Let me tend to your wounds. Took you long enough. Be strong. Right. Greater trials lie ahead. I'll take it from here. They fear to look at me because of my appearance. It did tell me to go left twice. I fear to look at them because Speak, of... Speak, Elantark. I want Going left twice is stars. what I'm doing. I'm always ready. I do hate timing puzzles. I do hate them tremendously. Enormously. Name. Infathomably. Oh god, was that all? Was that all there was back here? You put me through a dumbass timing puzzle for that? Why? Why would you do that? Why? I cannot be leashed. I hate timing puzzle. I hate timing puzzle. I hate timing puzzle. I hate time. Also, you told me to go left. I went left. You gotta go left, and then another left. I did go a left, and another left, and then you did this to me. Lore of Xenos. That is the dumbest noise I've ever heard. I'm on Why? the hunt. You bite like a bomb. Okay, I, I do legitimately not have the patience to engage in puzzles. I don't. Let's <laughs> run. Help me, Lord Captain. Join me in prayer. Take whatever uh, little dumbass injuries you need to take and just get it over with. Pain cleanses the body. Right, you got one. Let me tend you to got boo boo. Wounds. I'm. And the you pain got boo boo. A wound. I didn't notice. 
What are you whispering, pure-hearted sister? Tom Smith says, yes, there is when you confront the homunculus. Oh, good. I would quite enjoy making many demons arrive in Komarog. It's right. about time. I sense something nearby. You do. It's a, a Xenos mine. Too hard for a simple monkey. The Trying to go left. Fire My success the was inevitable. <laughs> That sound, to the star. that fucking sound, it's like out of a Mario game or something. You'll regret this. Oh, I didn't see that. When the faithful are idle, heresy right. crew. You're going to be busy today, Argenta. A new challenge for me. Stop, there. Don't waste my time. It's the plinky plonky noise of a goddamn video game. Of a Mario video game, precisely. It, it really is a, a th trivial th task. It's exactly how I would imagine Arrow Trap in Mario to sound like. None are better at searching. Uh, and what did you. Ah. Disable that. Too hard for a simple monkey? Keep a sharp eye. This is. Definitely how the Dark Eldar would uh, make their houses, though. Just lots of traps everywhere. Look around. There's no slight about the purpose of the device around you. You think I've seen some of them before in a monkey laboratory. I do not need to be a seer to feel the pain permeating this place with my very being. You feel the pain, cousin? Your re-education has clearly already borne fruit. Ah, yes, let's touch the torture device. So gaze upon the machine, strange articulations, the tubes that end in sharp-tipped needles, and the instruments of the most bizarre shapes, you begin to have a slight suspicion about what these devices do to their victims. Chemical injections, dismemberment, mental torment. For a moment, your stomach churns at the thought of what it means to be a subject of these tools. The Chamber of Satiation, a place of reflection and pleasure. This is where Rax do their tinkering, working on new captives in anticipation of a hungry Kabbalite who will appreciate their artistry. If Teravantian servants were here, I could show you more, the supreme glorious greatness and art of terror. For instance, how to skin a monkey without killing it, or how to turn an Eldari into material for a charming trinket that will delight you for the rest of your life. But alas, another time. Your interest please me. Here, take this. Consider a reward for your diligence. Thank you. Send me into the heart of the spire, not far from the webway gate. Perhaps there I will find what my soul so desperately craves. Let's hurry up. Victory awaits! Oh, yes. I made my workshop here, right next to the shooty thing, because it reminds me of my favorite Nintendo video games. I see. I won't tolerate weakness. Weird, but uh, okay. My curiosity is too strong. I need to see what's in that box. My success was inevitable. Oh, you can turn it off. Well, that's nice. No, just it's, it's about facts. time. That's not actually that useful, or that cool. I... failed. None and shall stand in my round way. And round we go. We have found ourselves a little maze. I sense something nearby. Don't worry, we'll just keep going left until we run into another minefield. I have learned a much new in challenge my exile. For me. Main hall. Okay. Well, I don't want to go to the main hall just yet. Oh, God. More timing puzzles. How dare Victory you. Victory awaits! 
Thank oh. Russ for my that was sharp a senses. trap right there, wasn't it? Yep. Hey, it's just kind of traps everywhere Did there. Did you okay. hope to see an Azariani fail? Uh, where is that trigger? My reckoning will be swift. There. Oh, too hard for a simple monkey. Sins hidden in the heart. You shouldn't be so gosh darn decay. sassy, you know. If you keep being sassy, Argenta's gonna stop healing you from all of the random little cuts and you scrapes you get wandering through this charm. place. Join me in prayer. Your technology is limited, but I am grateful. Research report. Onward. Sure. Oh. This is not the best place to uh, trigger. Uh, yeah, just you just, just wander into the the shooty thing. Keaton, Keaton, my son. You have come, my son. Hold the line. Don't let the corruption spread further. I finished the statue, master. We're all united in the shadows of the great three sisters until Kayla Mincha she Kane claims our heart. He's clearly a bit delusional. Oh, Isha, mother of all life, may your blessings protect the children of Assyrian from the abominations of bodily and spiritual torture. Wound the monster. Hmm. End their suffering, Idolette. That is not so. The accursed homunculus has merged not just the Fancy's body, but their soul as well. They are still inside, in agony. Torn to pieces by memories their own and others, but I can sense the shadow of she who thirsts creeping ever closer to devour them and erase them from this world forever. I cannot let this happen. I Good girl. Join the ancestors. Follow my lead. Good grill. You're getting a taste for killing your own kind, I hope. I have had her kill quite a few of her own kind so far. I'm sure she's started to is the most terrible get a certain punishment. appreciation for it. Yeah. Young old daddy, bodies floating in a murky glass vat filled with acridic acidic sludge. If the built-in Xenocorch is changing readings and anything to go by, the Eldaria is alive or at any rate not quite dead. This body belongs to a farseer. I sense dormant energy coming from his exhausted mind. We must set him free, Elantark. Inspect the rat. Another of the insane homunculus creations designed for cruel experiments. The vat is part of a larger mechanism, which has small mechanical dashboard built into its casting. You are, however, unfamiliar with the symbols on it. The thick tubes that deliver the suspicious-looking liquid straight into the vitreous depths of the mechanism despairs into the inexplicably smooth casing. The glass itself seems quite brittle, though. Odd. Those symbols are unfamiliar to me. I suppose the homunculus is using a special code so no overly curious assistant can hamper his experimentation. Well, when in doubt, press random buttons and see what happens. Hmm. 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 Five. Looking through the fog glass, you note several mechanical arms that have extended from the machine's wall. As they clamp around the farce's hand and feet, a hefty pair of pincers descend on the Aldi's head and squeeze until the other skull bursts like an overripe fruit. I tried. I made an attempt. I, I made the effort. You cannot blame me for the... Uh, Oh, wait, was that a tip, maybe? Hmm. There probably was some sort of None hint there stand in my as way. to how you could avoid killing him, but, uh, such is life. Hey, Morag, what a strange feeling. Kyla Mensha Kane, take my heart. 
Placed on a grim stone pedestal in front of you is an intricate game board, broadly similar to one of Regicide player users. Miniature figurines of Drukari and Asiriani, skillfully fashioned out of onyx and wraith bone, are frozen in elegant poses opposite each other. Several of them are toppled, and for a moment you think you see fresh blood running from under the game pieces down the small grooves carved into the board. I don't like the look of this. I says the game board, stunned. Quiet, please stop. Stop torturing my mind. I will not let you become another spirit of the wind. Not for the light of a million stars. Just let me explain myself. Yolette, are you talking to the pieces in the game board? I left Kradok because that was my path. Is that not what you have been teaching us from birth until the final moment of our lives? I can hear it very well. The mournful lament of our brothers and sisters tortured to death in this room. I'd prefer not to hear it, but I cannot. As clearly as I hear the melody of your soul's torment, but don't you dare. There is no need to blame me for what happens to you. I wave a hand in front of her face like, Hello, you're let. Stop talking to fucking chessboard. It's weird. Hmm. A slap. Earlet. <laughs> okay, persuasion. Uh, trapped in the game board, correct? Uh, that sounds like it. How did you know? A monkey is incapable of hearing the call of the immortal soul of a child of Syrian. Could have been a simple guess. Educated guess, yes. Yet you're absolutely right, Alantark. In their torture, the Dark Ones go far beyond the limits of the possible. For imprisoned within those game pieces, within this board designed for games that intrigue the mind, is the soul of a farce here. Inventive? Why would they do that? Why does the wind blow and the rain fall? Why does starlight illuminate our path and darkness dismay us? It is their nature, but that is the way of the world. The Dark Ones feed on despair and suffering, while the Farseer are powerful beings of unbending will whose souls, however, are brittle. Every move on this game board calls the Farseer nothing but pain. She feels everything, sees everything, and is aware of everything. She dies with each taken piece and is resurrected at the end of a game. But I fear there is more to it than the desire to inflict suffering. The Hermenculus experiments on the Kradark Farsair in an attempt to subjugate their powers. Normally the Dark Ones shun any and all manifestations of such abilities. At least they attract the attention of she who thirsts. This is worrying news to me. Should be. Hmm. This trophy will the first of my of its kind in my collection. I think Edelet will shoot me if I say that. Mm. Save. Ah, oh, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, that allows me to add her to my collection without Edelet killing me. But Edelet, it would look great in a glass mantra. And yeah, we could save her. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say how much more suffering her soul has yet to endure before we leave this city. She may even be devoured by Sylantresh on the way, as forms like these make our souls very brittle and defenseless. But if you think there is a chance she can be saved, I will not stand in the way. Eagerly shoves the game board back into a pack, imagining where I'm going to put it. <laughs> My success was inevitable. It's about time. I can bring Speak guests over. Now. Like, and this, this is the screaming soul of a farseer trapped inside of a chessboard. Really? Yes. Move the pieces around and listen. Like, ah. Wow, you're right. That's fucking macabre. I know. <laughs> That's great. That's absolutely lovely. Oh, there's a, a new stair challenge down there. for me. I didn't see the stairs. Is it Wargold, or a trap? Uh... Hmm... Speak, Ed Fatter. Well, I'm presuming this isn't the, uh... I align my path with yours. My patience has its limits. This probably isn't the... <sighs> oh, hey, you found the mine. The Good we are job. Called to battle. I was about to say, this probably isn't the, uh, the end boss. The in thingy, this is all the pain, blood impairment, right? No, it isn't. Okay, good. So I can fight this. This is fine. I just didn't want to risk, you know, engaging in like a final fighty thingy here before I found uh, the uh, farshares. Or whatever was left of them. Isn't this a 
job for the serfs. If it Look, serves Violet. your cause. An opportunity for vengeance. <sighs> if I must. If it serves your cause. A pitiful attempt. You will pay dearly for your actions. Come then, silly creatures. We Throw yourself at Wulfgar. Wulfgar will take you all to hell. That's some pretty heavy breathing you got there, buddy. Are you, uh... This tedium is beneath Are you sure you need to do that? Are you, are you sure you could... Couldn't stop doing that? God damn it. Another 95% miss. If it serves your cause. Oh, tragedy. Guided by faith! I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> This is why I I'll do it. And run and gun. Now, become As on Emperor fire. Commands, I act. <laughs> you will pay dearly for your actions. I do not fear a perilous path. We all walk our own path. Strands of fate guide me. You will return this favor tenfold. I don't know why they're shooting I each other. answer the call. I yearn for agony. Don't distract me. I yearn for butters. I'm pretty sure that it was that's what Dev says every time he makes his girlfriend peg him. I yearn for agony. I yearn for the pain of socialism. I I go that is what Dev says. Darkness. As the horse dildo plunges ever onwards. The path Me? of progress. Oh my god, that's a great okay. name for it. That is a fantastic name. <laughs> For, for Dev's enormous horse dildo. The path of progress. Oh, I love it. The path of progress is filled with suffering. It takes time to master this tool. It tears and stretches. Not a problem for me. <laughs> Rends, in fact. Tenfold. I particularly enjoyed during the Ask cast so when... Rags, I imagine, looked deeply into Dev's eyes and went, Wow, you have an enormous horse cock in your collection? Nobody That's impressive. Us. It takes a lot of work to get up to that I'll level. This favor and you know, Rags, he knows what he's talking about. I will carve runes out of your Rags has a pretty idea of, a good idea of what that means. See how the world succeeds. The kind of effort required to fully, so it shall be. fully embrace the way of the horse still, though. <laughs> To fully embrace the path of progress. Long, thorny, brutish, thick, hairy path of progress. Stretching. Always testing Dev's limits. Yearning for his anal fissures. No weakness is hidden from my sight. And in the background, we hear the Mario sound effects continue on. Doubt is for the weak. See, that's probably one it. of the most annoying things about being a, a fan of ginormous dildos. The, the anal fissures. Every night, Dev stares over at his vast and impressive collection of sizable horse penises and wonders. I do not How fear far will I take path. myself today? How much can I handle without tearing my <laughs> asshole apart? <laughs> Damn, that was a lot of attacks. How much enjoyment can I slather myself in? 
It is you, my wounds. No, Bill, you will pay dearly for that your actions. Did like no damage, and I don't know why. No, these rupee flashes are choking me. Hmm, little cinnamon bun kitten. Can you survive him hitting you in the face one more time? Let's hope so. Be careful not to cross my gaze. You can. Good. Now, you can't find us now yourself, can you? Mm. Alright, fine. I answer the call. The path of progress. No, Vorsha's delight. I like... The See, Vorsha's delight is too obvious. I like the path of progress. I like the path of progress a lot. It indicates just how harsh and dangerous I'll it is. Bring glory Long, to my bloodline. violence, demanding. Emperor, give me strength. As I duty demands. Into the darkness. Why aren't you taking damage anymore? I is it because you've like not a sadismed yourself into it? Isn't yeah, this a job self buff for the or something? Service? Ridiculously high toughness. If I may. <laughs> well, let's try and put some more out of your misery then before you turn this favor tenfold. Buff more of yourselves. All too easy. Service guarantees citizenship. Hmm. It might be a shield too, I guess. Yeah. Two damage. What if I hit you multiple times? What about that? I will return this favor tenfold. Two damage. Hmm. Still pretty disappointing. You are suffering all for stainless. Wolves rain. Maybe some. You will oh. pay dearly for your actions. All right, doesn't last very long, does it? That's See nice to know. You become the old father's worthy instrument. Nothing of value Ooh. has been lost. <laughs> All right, so it's just if about it not hitting them whilst they've got all their defensive buffs up, and then shooting them when they don't. I am not your if it serves your cause. Uh, I'll work for a flesh crafter. Faith without deeds is worthless. Right, you've still got lots of hit points. Go in there. Control shot. I'll do it. Uh, for you, my emperor. Ah, uh, he'll be over. Yep. I don't know why you didn't hit him. One kneel before me, praising. Kill. What a useless plaything. Broken girl. already. I'm not accustomed to being ordered. No, I will join the ancestors. And you've got your mass defensey thing the wolf so is on the hunt. we all walk our own path all right worn off now yes it is okay so it just lasts for one turn not too bad not too bad i deal death with my hands it's in the helping hand and i'll show you the way home wait oh there's a dude in the cage up there mm. Yeah, how neato cheeto. Watch your stats. The tree awaits. Huh? Webway. Ah, that was the thing Follow she needed. Me. Okay. None are better at searching. Okay, Morak. You fucked up, didn't you? You interrupted my thoughts. You failed. Well, I guess that's just gonna have to. I have learned much in my exile. Be there then. 
I won't tolerate weakness. Too hard for a simple monkey. Sound of a living and tormented creature. Right, press that button over there. When the faithful are idle, heresy took you And hope, enough. I suppose, that it doesn't instantly just splat the guy inside. Okay, second button. Oh, hey! All right, now open without killing the occupant. A Clindil, a monkey and an outcast, have found their way into the heart of the dark city to save what little remains. The universe is full of cruel surprises. But this is an outcome I managed to foresee. Dev, why didn't you foresee a way to avoid this meeting, huh, Tard? You have foreseen our meeting but could not avoid being captured? Good point, Iralet. Thank you. What is the point of your prophecies then? I am glad our paths have crossed again, my child. It is a great relief for me to know you are alive, and a great joy to see how much firmer of spirit and mind you have grown over your exiles over the years. I think we have a lot to talk about, says the farseer as he avoids the question. Make an Aldari greeting gesture with your hands. <laughs> like, look, I can speak black too. You've got yourself a most amusing monkey to keep your company, Adelette. He understands our language and even knows a thing or two about customary greetings. Not that any of it makes him a worthy companion for you to have on your path. Mm, Eklinder, you're very weak right now. I've got you outnumbered. I can put you back in that cage if you want to. I can sodomize you first if you really desire. It is the Atlantak who keeps me at his side. Oh, Adelette is beginning to learn her place. I like it. Were it not for him, my soul would have long left this body, or else I would have been devoured by a minion of she who thirsts, and I would never have learned the truth of what happened to Crydark. It must be weird for an Eldar to essentially be owned by the equivalent of a dog. Hmm. There were other farseers besides you in the spire. Between the homunculus torture, I was able to glance inside my kin's desperate minds. I saw every soul that was extinguished in this spire. I sang a lament for every brother and sister sacrificed by the Dark Ones. I carry their memory in my heart, and if I get out of here alive, their names will not be forgotten. Your senses fail you, Kendall. Many died, but not all. I was unable to save her, but you, you could have tried. What is this? Explain yourself, monkey. What all the god's name had you decided to torture one of my sisters? Are you aware that a farseer's soul is imprisoned in this object, and that your every touch causes unspeakable pain to an immortal soul? Yes. That's why I brought it. I'm going to use it as a conversation starter at my next soiree. Hmm. I'm not interested in your approval, Xenos. <laughs> Yeah. You have set me free, and I'm grateful for the rescue. But what you are doing is wrong. I can free my sister's tortured soul if you let me, monkey. I am asking you for one more favor. That's the thing with the Eldar. It's always like, give me the thing. And then you give them the thing. Oh, thank you. Now give me another thing. Mm, another thing. Mm, more. More. I'm too nice for my own good. Elith blinks in surprise, and in her eyes there's a faint and fleeting trace of softness and gratitude. I will bend you to my bestiality ways, Elith, one day. Really? I must confess, I have set a little story by your... I have set little story by your species in the past. Perhaps, in some regards, I was wrong to do so. It is done. My chess pieces. Farseer is at your disposal, let's. I fear this moment would never come. Look at me, Akindil, and tell me what adversaries befell our home. Adversity? As a council member, you cannot possibly be unaware of the truth. And Eklindil, do not even consider hiding anything from me. Sometimes ignorance is truly bliss, my child. But I cannot deny you your right to know the truth. 
When we found ourselves amid the stars of the stellar fabric, we encountered a monkey ship, a ship much too puny to take on an Usuriani world. Or so we thought, until the council was struck with the vision of the horror to come, this ship would be our doom, not only for us on Kradak, but for all our kind among the nearby stars, and even for those whose paths stretched far beyond the stars. We could not allow such a thing to happen. When the ship approached, we pieced it with a hundred salvos, and then rejoiced, for among the wreckage the rangers found no trace of the foreseen curse. Assyrian, how wrong we were. The ships that returned from the consonants to our starports were already carrying it on their wings, whether it was a scratch from a passing wreck or the infected ashes of the monkey ship that at cosmic winds had not had time to disperse. The plague crept into our home and immediately began to eat away at the craft world's very flesh. Ah, good. Good. Eldar create their own failures yet again. They craft their own doom always. Instead of being like, oh, we can't kill the poor little monkey, that would be wrong of us. They immediately go, shoot the ship, kill the filthy aliens. And then what happens? Mm, then they die. Happiness spreads through me. This brings many joy joy feelings to my hard heart. The Infinity Circuit, the souls of the ancestors battled the spreading pestilence ferociously. But the world was falling apart, and there was no stopping it. Spires collapsed, rivers dried up, the ground itself sank, and all living things turned into a strange blend of organic matter and metal. We fought for our home until the very end, but when it became clear that Cardarch was beyond saving, the Council decided to gather all who remained aboard them um, on the surviving shuttles and scattered across the galaxy to look for salvation, and that was what we did. Hmm. I, I, there needs to be an option here where you just stand by, cross your arms, smile, and go, hmm, hmm, arrogance served you well yet again, huh, Elda? <laughs> that is the correct response. But who steered the infected vessel? I am afraid you already know the answer, Ellen Tark. You just cannot accept it. Your predecessor, she who previously owned this vessel and your entire protectorate, the monkey who kept a piece of my homeworld in her study, like a trifle or trophy of no great significance. Really? Theodora fucking bodied in the entire craft world? Jeez. I'm beginning to think far better of the woman. Good job. So it was your accursed kind. Hey, I didn't order you to shoot at it, bitch. Wait to kindle. Shedding innocent blood will not bring our home back. The Alantark is guilty not only of guilty only of helping me to reach this place and free you. The blood of the executioner of our people flows through the veins of the ones you long to save. What has the monkey done to deserve your mercy? You better be careful, bitch. I'm gonna execute you or torture you something. Hmm. So the disease broke out. You want to know how your kinspeople destroyed my world? So you can follow that example? Yes. Answer the question, Akindle. Not for the monkey's amusement, but for the sake of those whose soul dissolve in infinity. At first we thought the monkey were in the service of the greatest enemy of our kind, the one who lurks beyond the edge of reality. But the world's afflicted manifested itself differently. It distorted Kradak while avoiding encounters with the souls of our ancestors. We were waiting for Silanthresh, the destroyer of souls, to burst her way in through the gaping wounds of the world, yet her gaze was directed away from our suffering. No one ever managed to identify the nature of the curse, even as we watched it destroy our home. And so, having lost all hope of saving it, we fled. If your ken fled Kredark, how did you end up here? Our twisted cousins found our arcs in the voids called Embrace. At first it seemed they were going to save us. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Okay, again, this is the retardation of the Eldar. They've run into the Dark Eldar and they're like, Oh! Kinsman, you've come to save us. Thank you. We will not resist. And they just go like, yes, save you. <laughs> yes.
And so we told them what had happened to Crodark and where to look for it. Oh, Jesus. The mind-blowing idiocy of the Eldar no no bounds, does it? But our cousin's souls are dark and thirsty for blood. My Ark was uh, one of the first they seized. The Rukari massacred hundreds of thousands of their own kind for fleeting pleasure's sake and enslaved the Farseers for their accursed experiments. And that monkey was how I ended up hanging in this cage. You caused this, bitch. Oh, no, don't even dare look at me. You encountered the Dark Eldar and you were like, oh, thank you. The rest of us are over here. Is Kranar completely destroyed? That is hard to believe. Uh, it's good to hope. What do you think, Elect? But, Ekindle, how did Kranar end up in the Expanse? This close to monkey ships and the Dark Ones hunting grounds. Well, this guy's fault, probably. That was the path chosen by the Council. <laughs> Fucking knew it! My child, we had charted Kronach's course among the stars for years, and no one had any inkling of the terrible fate that awaits us in this place that promised us salvation. We thought the Dark Eldar so were kawaii little fluffy kitten mittens, and then they tortured my asshole. Oh my god, twist of fate. No one knew. The faucet looks away for a mere second, but an itching sensation immediately burrows its way into the base of your skull. Something is wrong here. The parts I have walked have taught me a great deal. To see the truth that is concealed, and not hesitate to cut off the head of a lying snake that tries to coil around my heart. If the entire Farseer Council failed to foresee their world's doom, then everything the children of Assyrian have been thought about, pa taught about past for centuries is a lie. You are hiding something, Eklendil. Speak. Speak now. How dare you take that tone with me, outcast? I am not obliged to justify myself before you, let alone protest my innocent. Where's the hit him option? Hmm. Uh, coercion is the closest I get. We had been staring credit along cursed prophecies by the stars themselves. A cause prophesied by the stars themselves, until Shire and tumultuous currents cast us to the edge of the great wound. A storm was coming, threatening to sweep Kradak away from its path, and so the council decided on a route to safety, across the nearest islet of hope, and into the place known among the monkey as the Coronas Expanse. We stood by our decision, but there came a point where the prophecies became ever darker and more unsettling. Someone proposed altering the course for the closing grip of raging shale. The close, closing grip of raging shale was blocking our path on all sides. It was then that our council's opinion was split. My vote was the deciding one in that difficult debate, for I believed that the prophecy that had promised us salvation in the expanse could not have been a lie. You already know what happened next. So we were doomed. I should have stayed on Kradach. I could have tried to help those who survived in the disaster. If only I had not chosen that accursed path and left the craft world, I would at least have tried to save someone. Hmm. Was it not the Farseer who made the bad decision? What difference would it have made if you had been on Kradach? The Farsi is not beyond their power. They left Kradach to prosperity for years, only to become too blind to what was going on around them. Had they not followed the prophecies the old customs required, had they changed course instead, Kradach might still have been saved. Yes, it is your duty then to avenge them and punish those responsible. There is a Farsi right in front of you, Relet. Punish, Illet. Punish. You are right, Elantak. I may be the only uh, one who knows the whole truth about what happened. And if I let Ilink Eklindil walk free, there will be no one left to punish the guilty. Outcast, you cannot just heed the advice of a monkey and kill your own farseer. Oh, but she can. <laughs> Mmm. Good Xenos. Good Xenos. 
You're worming your way into my good graces after all, Irelet. I think we are going to continue the bestiality romance path, you and I. I dedicate my wrath to Kayla Mensha Kane, you wretch. Come, his supreme lord, his greatness, and art of terror. We have no nothing left to do here. The only thing I regret is the loss of that wonderful chessboard. It that and I regret that too. Insulting. None shall Do stand in my I'm way. Enraged. It would have been the perfect little party favor. Enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Oh, yeah, my sure. success was inevitable. My tide is I'll lay claim to the stars. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. All right, sister. You know the drill. Bust out the medkits again. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. Thank you. Now the pain where will we? subside. Mm. I stand and recognition. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. I must. Thank you. Ministration is a holy task. Uh, we're not done yet. This certainly is beginning to wear away at Let my seemingly endless wounds. supply of medkits. <sighs> no medikai needed. Be strong. Just give Greater me some trials milk. lie ahead. Let I'll me tend to your wounds. A new challenge I for me? We survive. <laughs> Liam McNeil chat says, wow, they all dead out idiots. It never occurred to them to just leave the human ship alone since so it would normally be no match for them. Nope. Nope. Because the Eldar are idiots. Unfathomably vast idiots. Utterly assured of their own infallibility. And that, more often than not, tends to be their downfall. Sharpshooter rifle. 24 to 36. Alright, well, that will give me one arranged thing. Desolation blast pistol. That one's not bad. Bloodlight Hex Rifle. <laughs> the Exploder! One-handed flamer, huh? Hotshot Laz Gun. A Retubi Pattern Plasma Gun. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what does that little plus mean? Plus web proficiency. What does the little plus mean? Because it's got five less armor penetration, but three more base damage, two more max damage. Hmm. Probably better? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh, Astarte's chainsword. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I think chainsword, good sword. I think very good sword. That is cuter, and so I want it instead. And we've definitely got something better than that. Dark Light Blast, 50% armor penetration, not bad. Anything for you? Do I got anything? Uh, flamers? Nah, the lack of armor penetration really is a killer. Did I get you? Did we finally get some head on flamer and armor? No, no. Heavy. Gladiator mesh. Comes off flat breastplate. Still no power armor, huh? 
A radiant chest plate. Um, but I still don't have heavy armor proficiency because I'm holding up for the power armor. Oh, that one's better. They say a little bit of humility never right. hurts anyone. I am presuming that next up is the boss battle and the escape them from Comrade. So I think we'll we'll save it there. There we go. And next time we can get off Komrog, and presumably the end of Chapter 3, I'm guessing. And then I can get back to real space and... Oh wait, is somebody wounded? Cassia. Do you require an audience? You're not wounded. That thing claims you're not wounded. That thing claims you are wounded. We must act. Join me in uh, prayer. Oh. Just in Be case. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. <sighs> there we go. I can see bright colors again. Bright colors again. Then boss battle? Okay. So we're probably within a session of getting out of here. That's good. Uh, Weird says, Arch, Space King needs you. I did watch it. It's got very good animations, no doubt about it. I really like the intro. Little bit too much uh, plot, <laughs> in my opinion. But it's, it's very cool. I like it. I like it, quite, I like it quite a lot. Smash Gits have made more cool stuff. Lots and lots of cool stuff. I'm very happy to see it. I am not happy to see all of the reaction channels popping up around it. God, I hate reaction channels. I really do. See, you should not react to things. It's bad for you, okay? It's, it's negative. It damages your soul and your integrity as a human being. It should be avoided in all but the most strident circumstances. All right? Very important. But right. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, chat. Thank you for your generous donations, as always, too. And we will see you all again with some more Rogue Trader. Hopefully not too long. I need to start wrapping up some of these game series there. And we need to finish Power Washer, too. Hey, Power Washer. Hopefully I'll get done with Power Washer early next week, I hope. Hopefully. Have a good night, chat.